Chapter 3681 The Grand Dow is the pinnacle of simplicity. Senior apprentice brother Tan Yu's calculations are truly accurate. Long Chen really did come out to face the challenge. A female disciple of the wine god Pallas smiled at the winged devil expert. Hundreds of experts from the wine god Pallas were gathered. The table was covered in delicacies and wines. Other than some experts that were traveling throughout the world, everyone within the wine god palace had already gathered. The winged devil expert smiled. Long Chen isn't a person with patience. I refuse to believe that he could endure this. Furthermore, that Guo Ran is the master of wishing for more chaos. He would definitely drag Long Chen out for this fight. Senior apprentice brothers and sisters, junior apprentice brothers and sisters, a good show is about to start. Let me offer the first toast to everyone. Everyone laughed and raised their cups. Zayeg Yuhong laughed. I wonder if Long Chen knows that we're watching behind the scenes. Will he turn hostile on us? He won't go so far as to turn hostile. But we'll probably have to pay for our sins with wine. Just then, a voice rang out. High priest. Everyone jumped. Seeing the white-robed and white-haired high priest, Zia Kuang and the others hastily rose and bowed. High priest, weren't you wandering the world? The winged devil expert couldn't help asking. When Long Chen asked about seeing the high priest, the high priest wasn't present. It was a lie for Long Chen. It's still not time for us to meet. Everyone sit. We'll watch the show together. Aha, this opportunity really is rare. The high priest laughed. Since the high priest had said this, everyone laughed and turned their attention to the gate. The people at the gate couldn't see them here, but the high priest and the others could see everything. When Long Chen agreed to discuss the Tao with King Yu, King Yu revealed a wild joy even though he did his best to cover it up. Everyone with sharp eyes saw it clearly. The disciples of the Tea Divine School had set up a large platform. It was like a martial stage with all kinds of gold and embroideries to make it appear extremely luxurious. However, in Long Chen's eyes, it was simply a facade to cover up their shortcomings. Long Chen knew that as they set up this grand stage, their disciples activated photographic jades to record everything. In the future, they would rely on these photographic jades to tear down the name of the wine god palace and raise their own fame. The Tao discussion stage was quickly set up. It was simply a formality to make it look official so that others couldn't say that their photographic jades were fake. Long Chen and King Yu sat on the Tao discussion stage, and a ceramic tea table was placed before them. Long Chen didn't say anything and just watched them perform. Then, let the Tao discussion begin. Seeing that all the arrangements were complete, King Yu smiled with a very pleased laugh. His tone became much more courteous. Up to you, said Long Chen indifferently. Today, we are discussing the tea Tao and the wine Tao. I don't understand much of the wine Tao, but if you don't understand the wine Tao, why are you discussing the Tao with me? Are you trying to waste my time? Long Chen didn't stand on courtesy. He directly turned and walked away. Ah! Oh. Inside the wine god palace, laughter came from the various experts. Long Chen's response was perfect. King Yu was enraged, but hastily said, I was just being modest by saying that I don't understand the wine down much. Long Chen was in the midst of pretending to leave when he heard that, and sat down once more. He then indifferently said, If you do understand it, why don't you tell me what the wine down is? I. King Yu stumbled, trying to think of a good response. He even began to sweat. Long Chen had completely broken his rhythm. However, he quickly calmed down and said, The wine Tao is just like the tea Tao in that they are drinking Tao's. Through taste, you can experience the hundred flavors of the world and comprehend the world's ten thousand Tao's. Long Chen was startled. 
the flustered King Yu had actually come up with such a fine answer in such a short time. That didn't quite make sense, did it? Long Chen's gaze then swept toward the distance, and a cold smile suddenly appeared on his face. He had grasped a very subtle spiritual fluctuation. It seemed that someone was giving this King Yu pointers. It was no wonder that this fool could say such a thing. Long Chen now understood why these little ants dared to come here so arrogantly. They were backed by someone. Long Chen had figured out what this tea divine school had come here for. They were intending on participating in the Three Thousand Worlds and were planning on using the Wine God Palace to make a name for themselves in preparation. Fuck, I've seen shameless people, but not someone this shameless. If you're going to be so shameless, don't blame me for slapping you, sneered Long Chen inside. King Yu's confidence instantly inflated after answering Long Chen's question, and he returned to his arrogant self. The tea Dao and the wine Dao have similarities, but I believe that there is a higher and lower differentiation to be made between the two. What do you think about that? You are called King Yu, correct? King as in Yan and Yu as in Feather? Long Chen answered with another question. Yes. Is there a problem? asked King Yu. No wonder you're so immature. At this young age, your feathers haven't even grown out, but you dare to be so immature. For you to be able to live to this point, it means that your ancestors chose good locations for their graves, said Long Chen solemnly. You, King Yu was enraged. Long Chen flapped his hand at him. Don't get mad. I'm not cursing you. I'm just telling the truth. Your luck really is good. King Yu's expression sank. Stop changing the subject. We are discussing the Tao. Answer my last question. Your last question? Oh, you said that between the tea Tao and the wine Tao there is one that is higher and one that is lower. So you must mean that the tea Tao is greater, right? Said Long Chen. Correct. The tea Tao is taking tea from trees and plants, using the simplest method, perhaps frying, heating, drying. You then infuse it with the natural spring water of heaven and earth, and it is complete. The so-called Grand Tao is the pinnacle of simplicity. The simpler something is, the closer it is to the original flavor of the heavenly Tao's. As for the wine Tao, all kinds of complicated procedures are involved. The fermentation, simmering, storage, and other processes have long since broken the original principles of natural simplicity. The tea Tao is a natural Tao, while the wine Tao is an artificial Tao that you created with your own efforts. How can something artificial be as beautiful as a natural Tao? That is what determines which is higher and which is lower, said King Yu proudly. Well said, Senior Apprentice Brother King Yu. Senior Apprentice Brother King Yu truly is worthy of being a genius of the tea Tao. This comprehension is admirable. No wonder Master says that King Yu's comprehension of the tea Tao is unprecedented. We are bearing witness to this fact. Before anyone else could say anything, the disciples of the tea Divine School that had come with King Yu heaped praises on him. We are Navaloon, come find us on Google. Guo Ran, Zaya Chen, and even Long Chen looked at them, feeling dumbfounded. Seeing King Yu's natural and easy expression, it seemed that he wasn't the slightest bit embarrassed by all of this praise. His face didn't redden in the slightest. My eyes have been opened to the world. Guo Ran and Zaya Chen were both amazed and said the same thing at the same time. Guo Ran thought that his face was already very thick, but compared to King Yu, his face was practically as thin as paper. You are saying that what is natural is definitely better than something artificial? asked Long Chan with a smile. But of course, said King Yu without hesitation. Well then, people are born naked. Shouldn't you maintain your natural state? What are you wearing clothes for? If all of you dare to take off your clothes in front of everyone, I will admit that you are correct, 
said Long Chen shortly. Xia Chen and Guo Ran's gazes instantly fell upon those beautiful female disciples that had come from the Tea Divine School. Their eyes were full of anticipation. Chapter 3682 Pick Things Up, Put Them Down the Tea Divine Schools. Women instantly felt a chill run up their spines, seeing Guo Ran and Xia Chen's stares. It felt as if their gazes were seeing through their clothes. Let alone the women, even the men had goosebumps rise all over their bodies. They all felt unnatural. King Yu hastily said, You, you're twisting my words. No matter how thick his face was, there was no way he could strip naked in front of everyone. If that happened, your tea divine school would become a giant laughing stock. How am I twisting your words? Didn't you say natural is better than artificial? If the Grand Tao is the pinnacle of simplicity, the simpler the better. Tea is the Tao, wine is the Tao, and people are the Tao. Something as natural as your body, why must you cover it up? Why adorn yourself in artificial clothes? That's so troublesome. Why not make it simpler? If you feel that the Grand Tao is the pinnacle of simplicity, if you think that your principles are correct, if you think that the tea Tao is greater than the wine Tao, strip right now. My wine god palace will immediately accept our defeat, said Long Chen indifferently. What kind of joke was this? What kind of person was Long Chen? He was someone who had won the Tao discussion of the Nine Prefecture Convention. King Yu wanted to discuss the Tao with him. He wasn't even qualified to carry his shoes. One opening in his words and Long Chen could play him to death. Exactly. Since you say that you want to be simple, why are you going to so much trouble? You're clearly slapping yourself in the face. Xia Chen couldn't help interjecting. Strip. Why are you hesitating? If you strip, you win. Then your names will resound throughout the four seas. You aren't even willing to make such a small sacrifice for your sect. Don't you think that this hesitation of yours is failing to live up to your ancestors' expectations? Yu Ran also fanned the flames. Senior apprentice brother King Yu. Those women clenched their teeth and looked at King Yu. That appearance was like they were dealing with a difficult decision. But if King Yu really did order them to strip, it seemed that they really would listen. You're just spouting nonsense, insulting my tea divine school. Who are you? How could the wine god palace produce someone as shameless as you? Demanded King Yu suddenly. Insulting the tea divine school? Weren't you the one who was so insulting that you said all the seniors of the wine god palace are just drunkards? Does that not count as insulting? You were the ones who came here so brazenly to take advantage of the wine god palace. Furthermore, you were the one who said the Grand Tao is the pinnacle of simplicity, but you refuse to give evidence. It's not me insulting you, but simply you insulting yourself, said Long Chen disdainfully. Who are you? King Yu demanded once more. I'm surnamed Long, and my given name is Chen, said Long Chen with a slight smile. Long Chen, you're the one that the Soaring Dragon Company put out an arrest warrant for. King Yu was startled. The experts in the distance were also startled to hear Long Chen's name. They had also heard of him. Idiot, my boss is it doesn't matter who I am. I am on the side of the Wine God Palace. If you want to discuss the Tao, then let's discuss the Tao. If you don't want to discuss the Tao, then we can use our fists instead. Boss Long San is capable of both. I'll face your challenge whenever you want, said Long Chen indifferently. He cut off Guo Ran, not letting Guo Ran say that he was from the High Firmament Academy. Long Chen then looked at King Yu and clearly saw the panic in his eyes. They hadn't even started, but things were already over. It seemed that discussing the Tao with him was like bullying a child. Furthermore, the spiritual fluctuations coming from the distance were coming more frequently. 
Clearly whoever was behind him was teaching him what to say. In a bit, King Yu took a deep breath and recovered a bit of calmness. My little self was unable to express myself clearly. However, I still believe that my principles are correct. I have always thought that the tea Tao is more profound than the wine Tao. Uh, I'd like to hear the details, said Long Chen. Search Navaloon Com for the original. King Yu beckoned and a woman immediately walked over. She then knelt down beside the tea table and took out a set of tea. She got to work. King Yu lightly said, I believe that the Grand Tao is the pinnacle of simplicity. The simpler something is, the more it expresses the flavor of the Grand Tao. As for tea, it is simple and easy to understand. The tea leaves either float or sink, while the person who drinks the tea only has to do two things, pick it up and put it down. Life is like tea. You must be able to pick things up and put things down. Don't you think that I am correct? As King Yu spoke, that woman finished up with the tea. She then passed a cup to Long Chen. Long Chen smiled. Well said. He picked up the tea and sipped it. But then he shook his head. The tea is good tea, the water is good water, and the pot is a good pot. Regretfully, the flavor is lacking a bit. It's flowery without any substance. Its fragrance assaults the nose but doesn't cleanse the heart. It cannot reach the Tao. King Yu snorted in response to Long Chen's appraisal. Your own words are a typical case of picking something up but not being able to put it down. You can only accept praise but not criticism. You are even further from the Tao. Ahaha, how reasonable. Come a bit closer. I have some words for you. Long Chen laughed and beckoned to King Yu. King Yu was startled. Long Chen's posture was like he had something secret to tell him, so he couldn't help extending his head over. Long Chen reached out his hand. Neither quickly nor slowly, in front of everyone's shocked gaze, he slapped King Yu's face. King Yu was sent flying, tumbling back into the distance. When he stood up again, half his face was swollen badly. Long Chen's handprint was very clearly imprinted on it. What are you doing? The Tea Divine School's disciples were enraged. They all took out their weapons, glaring at Long Chen with killing intent. King Yu was the most enraged out of them, and he pointed his sword at Long Chen. Long Chen, come out. Today I want a battle to the death with you. Long Chen waved his hand. Don't mess around. Such a tiny thing is making your face go from red to white. You're making others laugh at you. Come drink some tea. Long Chen acted like he hadn't done anything. He actually waved King Yu over to drink tea. He even raised his teacup for him. A tiny thing. Bullshit. Today, only one of us will live to see tomorrow's sun. King Yu howled. The space behind him rumbled and he actually summoned his manifestation. His aura was truly shocking. Long Chen still acted like he couldn't see King Yu's anger. He indifferently said when drinking tea there are only two positions. Picking it up and putting it down. Life is like tea. You have to be able to pick things up and put things down. Don't you think that I am correct? Long Chen raised his teacup and took a light sip. That natural appearance of his was as if everything that had just happened had nothing to do with him. Seeing this, King Yu felt like he might explode from rage. These words were the ones that he had just said. But when they came back out of Long Chen's mouth, they were the greatest mockery. When everyone heard Long Chen say this, the wine god palaces people all clapped and laughed. This response was truly wonderful. Fuck your grandpa. Have a taste of my sword. King Yu suddenly stamped down, stabbing his sword at Long Chen. At this moment, space quivered. He instantly used his strongest attack, while Long Chen didn't even look at this attack. Just as the sword was about to reach Long Chen, a hand appeared and caught it between two fingers. 
that thunderous sword was caught just like that what seeing this all the experts present couldn't help sucking in a cold gasp of air chapter three thousand six hundred eighty three reverse mohawk king yu's attack had been like a fierce tiger the aura was astonishing however guo ran caught it with just two fingers and that fierce tiger became a trembling kitten king yu's expression completely changed after that he pulled with all his power but no matter what he did it was like his sword was fused with guo ran's hand his pulling was like a dragonfly trying to shake a tree it didn't budge at this moment everyone's expression changed before this guo ran had simply stayed behind long chan like a sloppy little attendant so no one had viewed him to be anyone important therefore no one had expected him to shock everyone as soon as he made a move you want to attack my boss do you think that you're qualified go back and cultivate for another thirty thousand years first guo ran sneered and suddenly flicked the tip of the sword with his thumb sparks flew after that an inch of the tip of king yu's sword snapped off this sword was a top grade king item but in front of guo ran it simply wasn't worth anything the sword began to quiver intensely as a result king yu was no longer able to hold on to it and the webbing between his forefinger and thumb broke apart he flew back support us at navalum calm with a flick of guo ran's finger that broken sword tipped shot after king yu like a bolt of lightning navalun come after that with a cold flash the sword tip pierced through king yu's head seeing this the t divine school's disciples cried out in terror senior apprentice brother king yu they thought that king yu was dead killed by this attack from guo ran after all if someone's head was pierced they would naturally die However, they quickly realized that King Yu wasn't dead. He was standing there motionlessly, seeming to be a fool who didn't dare to move. Senior apprentice brother King Yu, are you all right? The woman who had previously spoken came forward and pulled at him with concern. King Yu's body quivered after being pulled, and that shaking caused strands of hair to fly into the air an inch wide area along the center of king yu's head became barren land as the hair there fell king yu had been wearing a golden crown but the golden crown had already fallen and his hair fell in disarray the center was now bald however it was so perfectly centered that the left and right sides were perfectly symmetrical this spectacle was shocking and funny to people but when they looked at guo ran their gazes contained profound fear let alone them even long chen and xia chen jumped in shock when did this fellow's control over his supreme bone reach such a high level however when they looked at guo ran's expression they knew that this was just a random coincidence he wasn't able to flick anything so accurately in fact even guo ran himself was shocked he had actually planned on slashing off a piece of King Yu's scalp as a warning and punishment for his disrespect toward the wine god palace. However, Guo Ran hadn't expected to end up slightly off. His flick ended up deviating up, resulting in this surprising result. Guo Ran quickly clasped his hands behind his back and indifferently said, for our first meeting i don't have any gift for you so i can only give you a reverse mohawk don't worry it's perfectly centered go ahead and count every hair on both sides if they are not equal even by one strand it will count as my defeat long chen and xia chen were speechless this fellow's face really was thick he would brag about anything however that attack was truly shocking the T Divine School's disciples were all horrified, so how could they be in the mood to count? Guo Ran dared to brag, but no one dared to find the evidence against him, which let him pull off a perfect performance. Little fellow, your luck is good. My boss's mood is good today. In the future, 
if you still don't know how high the heavens are and how deep the earth is then make sure to go out in at least groups of two advised xia chen sternly will we be luckier if we are in groups of two one of the disciples of the tea divine school couldn't help asking xia chen shook his head no i simply meant that you'll have company on the path to the yellow springs people laughed not having expected xia chen to make such a joke suddenly xia chen formed a hand seal and king yu's broken sword seemed to come to life flying through the air just like that the sword accurately stabbed into the chiffon king yu's waist upon seeing this scene people's smiles stiffened the tea divine school's disciples were particularly terrified that was because at that moment they felt a sharp light pass by their necks it was only once they saw king yu's hair slowly falling and heard the sound of the sword entering the sheath that they understood what had just happened guo ran had previously done a reverse mohawk that amazed everyone but xia chen's move gave them chills through space xia chen had controlled someone else's weapon furthermore he had brought it right past all their necks before it entered king yu's sheath if he had wished to those disciples of the tea divine school would already be headless corpses i i i came to discuss the tao not to fight king yu clenched his teeth and did his best to shout bravely were we fighting just now furthermore if we were would you even be qualified to participate in a martial competition with us long chen smiled you were the one who attacked first just now raged king yu curious does attacking mean fighting we were discussing the tao weren't we you said something about floating and sinking picking things up and putting things down i was just testing whether you really had reached that realm if you are capable of picking things up and putting things down you shouldn't be so angry put down your anger you came to challenge the wine god palace so shouldn't you be prepared to be humiliated what you were planning on just insulting the seniors of the wine god palace you didn't expect anyone to retaliate if you can't accept others treating you the same way that you treat them how can you say that you've reached the realm of being able to pick things up and put them down retorted long chen you king yu was left speechless he began to sweat as he no longer had any idea what to do long chen indifferently said the tea saint lu yu's tea scripture has three parts the part that you've comprehended is nothing more than the lower part and is merely the most superficial part of it lu yu's three-part tea scripture corresponds to three realms the world of desire the colored world and the colorless world within the scripture there is a line from above achieve the tao ascend to the heavenly palace from the center achieve the tao become an immortal in the southern palace from below achieve the tao life forever within the world the scripture that you've obtained is only the third portion the lower part corresponding to the world of desires seek your desires know your desires understand your desires and break your desires if you can comprehend this lower part of the scripture you can live forever in the world possessing eternal life for you to come and challenge the wine god palace you are clearly trying to increase the fame of your tea divine school at the expense of the wine god palace's reputation based on the partitions of the tea scripture you are in the lowest level of the third part to put it frankly you haven't even entered the gates of the tea scripture before setting up your so-called tea divine school bragging showing off conning people your ignorance and foolishness are almost painful these words didn't just shock the outsiders but they also moved the people inside the wine god palace the tea saint tulu was known to them all but as for his scripture not many people were aware of it absolute nonsense you don't know what you're talking about just then 
an elder in white robes walked out from the distance with an enraged expression. Upon seeing him, King Yu and the others cried out, Patriarch! Chapter 3684 T. St. Lu Yu this white, robed, white-haired elder was a half-step divine venerate. Even just walking, he possessed a natural grace that truly was full of the air of the immortal Tao. It went without saying that he seemed very impressive. However, just like his disciples, this elder could not conceal his arrogance. It was an irritating sight. What? Are you no longer going to just give orders from the rear? You're finally willing to come out? Asked Long Chen indifferently. I was personally given enlightenment by the mighty T. Saint. I received his true inheritance, and I will not permit you to spout such nonsense, raged the patriarch of the T. Divine School. The patriarch's words shocked everyone, and they stared at him in disbelief. Even Long Chen was shocked. It had to be known that the tea saint Lu Yu was the one who made the tea scripture. There were 368,000 names of tea on it, and it also recorded the effect of every tea as well as the picking, prepping, seeping, and uses. The tea scripture had over 360,000 names of tea, but in the current era, people were only able to find less than 60,000 tea names. The remaining 300,000 had long since vanished. Some teas required medicinal ingredients from the primal chaos era to be brewed. Unfortunately, those ingredients had long since vanished over time. The primal chaos era's objects were incredibly mysterious. In fact, those that were capable of recording anything about them had to be people from the desolate era. Furthermore, they would have to be existences from before that ancient desolate battle. Find the original at Navaloon, Calm the Tea Saint was an existence from before the ancient desolate battle, but there were no records of him after that battle. All that remained was his personally written three-part scripture. However, due to the passing of time, many scriptures were copied too many times and eroded. Stone tablets would eventually be damaged with time. Because of that, the tea scripture that had been preserved to the current era was fragmented. However, Long Chen had read through the tea scripture in the High Firmament Academy. He had found it to be profound and difficult to comprehend. Furthermore, many parts were not connected to each other. Since that was the case, Long Chen only memorized the parts that he felt made sense. He had intentionally searched for information on the T. Saint Lu Hu. The majority of historical books didn't even recognize him as a person. Most records said that the T. Saint was a fabrication, while the T. Scripture was simply the concentrated knowledge of many ancient sages from ancient times, a compendium of their knowledge. There were also many things mentioned in the Scripture that were too obscure people couldn't possibly comprehend them. Even the parts that people could understand left them bewildered. Most people thought that the tea saint Lu who never existed. Hence, for the patriarch of the tea divine school to say that he had received personal enlightenment from the tea saint, even Long Chen couldn't believe his ears. Looking at his proud expression, it didn't seem like he was lying. That was what shocked Long Chen the most. You've really met T. Saint Lu Hu? asked Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen and the others' shocked expressions, the patriarch proudly said, Of course. I swear on my very soul. If I lie, let my T. Divine School immediately turn to dust. This oath further shocked everyone. No one would dare to swear on their sect if it wasn't true. The karma would be far too terrifying. In other words, this proved that he had truly met the T. St. Lu Hu. The wine god palace's experts looked at each other, seeing each other's disbelief. Yet, they had no choice but to believe it. Was there really such a T. Saint? asked one of the disciples of the wine god palace. He truly exists. I have met him, said the high priest. That made everyone jump in shock. Not only was this existence real, but the high priest had even seen him. 
That was shocking. What kind of person is the tea saint? Why would he give pointers to such a person? Asked another disciple. The tea saint Lu Yu is a wise sage. Things probably aren't so simple, said the high priest. Looking at the petty pleased expression on the patriarch's face, he shook his head. The tea divine school's patriarch and his disciples were all unbearably arrogant now. King Yu taunted Long Chen, do you have any words to say? Even if your glib tongue could invert black and white, our patriarch is still the personal disciple of the tea saint. That status alone is something that a nameless soldier like you can't speak about. Shut your mouth, or you'll mess up your hair, retorted Kuo Ran disdainfully. Yu. King Yu was held back by a female disciple who helped him fix his hair. They put on his golden crown again. That would cover up his current haircut. Long Chen indifferently said, First let's ignore whether or not I am a nameless soldier. If I am not even qualified to speak, then there's no point in you being here, is there? Why are you discussing the Tao with me? Tell me, do you know the complete tea scripture? Asked the patriarch. I do. I've read it all. However, my aptitude is limited, and there are many areas that I cannot comprehend. Since you are the tea saint's disciple, I'll ask you for pointers. Within the second part of the tea scripture, it is said, The tea flower is not a flower, the tea leaf is not a leaf. The flower and the leaf both contain the Tao. Divided, they are extreme yin and extreme yang. Combined, they are yin and yang in harmony. Two birthing three. What does that mean? Which tea is that referring to? Asked Long Chen. The patriarch was silent for a moment as he rapidly thought. He coughed and said, When the great saint transmitted this scripture to me, I was still young and crude. I wasn't able to memorize the entire thing. I feel like the part that you mentioned is familiar. It seems to be talking about a certain flower tea containing yin and yang energy. His slow appearance was as if he was trying to recall something but was unable to. He seemed a bit vexed. Ah! Long Chen laughed. Rather than speaking, he now communicated with him spiritually. I've seen shameless people, but not someone as shameless as you. That little quote comes from the Pill Dao's Medicine King record. It is a description of the yin-yang merger grass. It has nothing to do with tea. Tell me, should I just expose you? Hey, hey, little brother, please have mercy. We can always talk nicely, replied the patriarch hastily, also spiritually. Talk nicely? Why should I? I don't dislike arrogant people, but I dislike people who are more arrogant than me, responded Long Chen. Junior brother, I really have seen the tea saint's true body. Furthermore, he truly did give me pointers. I can swear on my very soul that it's not a lie. The patriarch began to sweat. So what? Just based on that, you think you can swagger about so arrogantly? With your current learning, you are only bringing down his prestige. Today, I'll help him clean up his reputation, snorted Long Chen. No, please, junior brother. What about a business transaction? Begged the patriarch. Oh, what do you have that I could possibly want? Demanded Long Chen disdainfully. He had been plundering the Soaring Dragon Company for so long and had long since become a rich moneybags. He had enough wealth to build his own nation. What he wanted now was to put this arrogant fellow in his place. Take a look at this. Is this satisfactory to you? The patriarch took out a certain object. When Long Chen saw it, his smile stiffened and his expression instantly changed. Chapter 3685 Seven Treasure Colored Blast Tree The Tea Divine School's Patriarch took out a palm-sized flower pot with a sapling growing inside it. Although it was only three inches tall, the sapling was extremely elegant. The leaves on the sapling had seven colors, red, orange, yellow, green, azure, blue, and violet. When Long Chen saw this little sapling, 
he almost lost his composure and shouted. This was a tree from the primal Chaos era, the Seven Treasure colored glass tree. It was also called the Seven Treasure Ingenuity Tree, the Tree of Wisdom, and the Baha'i Tree. This kind of tree existed only in legend. Ever since the desolate battle, no one had seen one. As for Long Chen, the only reason he could recognize it was because he had read about it in a damaged ancient tome. Its seven colored leaves represented seven kinds of energy, metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, and lightning. It had exactly the same energies and colors as Long Chen's seven-colored divine ring. Thus, when Long Chen saw the seven-treasure-colored glass tree, he was so shocked that he couldn't contain himself. Seven-color kill-in tree? I didn't expect you to have such a treasure, said Long Chen. He naturally wouldn't tell the patriarch that this was the seven-treasure-colored glass tree. If the latter were to know of it, then this fellow wouldn't hand it over even if he was beaten to death. However, Long Chen was overthinking it. People who knew of the seven treasure colored glass tree were as rare as a phoenix feather or a killin horn. Even if he told the patriarch what it was, he wouldn't know just how rare it was. This time, Long Chen didn't speak spiritually. He directly spoke to the patriarch. Aha, junior brother's vision is sharp. You instantly recognized the seven-color killing tree. This old man admires your vision. The patriarch laughed. What shocked everyone was that he actually called Long Chen brother after being so angry just now. People looked at each other, not knowing if they had gone crazy or something had happened. Why did his attitude change so quickly? They weren't able to keep up. However, hearing the name of the seven-color killin tree, countless people's hearts shook. Some of the older generation's experts had heard of this name. You're too courteous. The seven-color killin tree is an ancient species. It is the companion tree of the auspicious beast, the killin. It is also a symbol of prosperity. There was an ancient saying, the seven-color tree in the home attracts the killin. Auspicious light shines, illuminating the home, said Long Chen. Legend has it that the seven-color killin tree will shine with divine light upon reaching a height of 30,000 meters, forming a rainbow auspicious cloud that draws the killin. Your luck really is envious. Seeing that Long Chen didn't expose him, the patriarch was delighted. That meant that there was still room to talk. He courteously said, to tell the truth, the reason that I'm so lucky to obtain it is thanks to the tea saint's blessing. This seven-color killin tree was precisely given to me by the tea saint. So that's the case. Then I've been rude to sir. So you really do have a relationship with the tea saint. Long Chen cupped his fists. No need to call me sir. I'm not wiser than you despite my extra years. I'll call you Brother Long Chen, and I am Jiang Wuxin. You can call me old Brother Wuxin, said the patriarch with a laugh. Ha ha, all right. Old Brother Wuxin, how about we sit and discuss the Tao? Long Chen extended his hand. That would be good. The patriarch smiled and sat on the Tao discussion stage. The surrounding people were all staring at them blankly. This sudden change was out of nowhere. Brother Long Chen, you've now seen your old brother's sincerity. This seven-color killin tree is a priceless treasure. Let me put it to you this way. When I encountered the tea saint back in the day, I was a little brat with only average aptitude. I didn't even have the potential to awaken a primal bloodline. Due to being squeezed out, I was forced to leave my family. Later on, it was this seven-color killin' tree that caused my talent to undergo a heaven-toppling transformation. I awakened a primal bloodline that very day. After that, my cultivation base continued to make breakthrough after breakthrough. In three thousand years, I became a half-step divine venerate. If you don't believe me, I can once more swear on my soul, said the patriarch while sipping tea. He spoke spiritually, 
but on the surface he appeared to be completely focused on the tea. There were no clues for outsiders to spot. Long Chen smiled. No, Ni. Nee. I trust you. However, you still haven't mentioned the important things. For example, why is it that you could become a half-step divine venerate in three thousand years, but now your cultivation base has stagnated for hundreds of thousands of years? Or why is the seven-color kiln tree said to unleash auspicious light that draws the kiln after reaching a height of thirty thousand meters, but this particular tree hasn't grown at all after so many years? Don't tell me that when the tea saint gave you this seven-color kiln tree, it was only the size of a grain of rice. Well, in truth, don't lie, or I will have you swear on it, said Long Chen lightly. He took a sip of the new tea that the patriarch had poured. He closed his eyes and seemed to immerse himself in it. All right. There are three reasons why I am willing to endure the pain of parting with the seven-color kiln tree. The first is that it was only able to make me grow faster, but was ineffective on others. Furthermore, at my current realm, it is no longer able to help me at all. The second is that when the tea saint gave me the seven-color kiln tree, it was already this big. No matter what I did to help, there has been no growth even after hundreds of thousands of years. The third reason is that the tea saint didn't even tell me its name when he gave it to me. He only told me to look after it and exchange it for what I need in the future. Brother Long Chen, I am telling the truth. I am filled with respect for the tea saint. Everything that I have was bestowed upon me by him. He is the reason why I created the tea divine school. I want the entire world to know his name. In truth, other than giving me the seven-color kiln tree, the tea saint didn't say anything else to me. I later secretly gathered the remnants of the tea scripture and then created the tea divine school. I came to challenge the wine god palace in order to increase our fame, but my heart isn't bad. That's why I am hoping that you can transmit the complete tea scripture to me, and I will give you the seven-color kiln tree. If that's not enough, just tell me what you want. As long as I have it, I won't even hesitate, said the patriarch sincerely. Long Chen hadn't expected this fellow to be so willing to take a beating. It seemed that he knew what gratitude was. However, did his meeting with the tea saint mean nothing more than being entrusted to look after the seven treasure-colored glass tree? Furthermore, he was told to exchange it for what he needed. Just what was the meaning behind that? Seeing that Long Chen still had his eyes closed in thought, the patriarch also closed his eyes, not daring to disturb him. But he was slightly nervous. It was as if he was waiting for Long Chen's judgment. Clearly, he wasn't an expert negotiator. He completely exposed his weak points and was practically asking to be bullied. No problem. I can transmit the first second and third parts of the tea scripture to you, said Long Chen. Many thanks. Many thanks. The patriarch gratefully handed over the seven treasure colored glass tree to Long Chen. Long Chen then reached out and received it. But all of a sudden, the seven treasure colored glass tree quivered and rainbow divine light shot out of it, illuminating the sky. Heaven and earth instantly became covered in a rainbow divine radiance. Chapter 3686 Entering the primal chaos space, the seventh treasure, colored, glass tree suddenly vanished from Long Chen's hands and appeared above his head. Furthermore, his seven color divine ring automatically appeared. Long Chen's seven-color divine ring was illuminated by the seven-colored light from the seven-treasure-colored glass tree. In the end, they slowly merged into one, and the seven-treasure-colored glass tree appeared at the core of the divine ring. However, the seven-treasure-colored glass tree was so small that it was barely visible after merging with the divine ring. It then grew smaller until it finally vanished. After that, Long Chen's primal chaos space quivered. The seven treasure colored glass tree somehow appeared within the primal chaos space. 
The seven treasure colored glass tree then took root in the soil. It was originally only three inches tall, but it began to rapidly grow and became over a foot tall. The leaves also grew lusher, but after reaching a height of three feet, it stopped growing. With a thought, Long Chen tossed the devil beast corpses he had gained from the all devil star field into the black soil. Last time, Long Chen had simply stored the devil beast corpses because the wood foundation divine trees had grown to their limit. They were no longer growing. Furthermore, the devil eye water lilies were also no longer growing past the fifth rank. Thus, he decided to simply store the extra corpses. When the seven treasure colored glass tree entered the primal chaos space, it was like a whale sucking in water, absorbing all the excess life energy. However, the primal chaos space had its own rules and would not permit a single plant to absorb the life energy of others for itself. Thus, the seven treasure colored glass tree exhausted all the excess life energy within the primal chaos space in order to grow to three feet tall. After that, there was no longer enough life energy to promote its growth. Long Chen then tossed mountain sized corpses into the black soil and endless life energy filled the primal Kaya space. The seven treasure colored glass tree began to grow once more. However, there were so many corpses that it would take days for the black soil to devour them all. So Junior Brother was the person I was waiting for. This seven color killin tree has finally found its master. I have accomplished the mission that the tea saint gave me. When the seven treasure colored glass tree entered Long Chen's hands, it was just like a divine weapon recognizing a master. That startling phenomenon gratified the patriarch. As for the other experts, they were also moved. Just how were they supposed to explain what had just happened? Even the wine god palace's experts were dumbfounded. Only the high priest had a trace of comprehension in his eyes. He slowly raised his wine cup and drank, a profound smile appearing on his face. Hearing the patriarch's words, Long Chen also felt it to be inconceivable. Had the seven treasure colored glass tree really found its destined person? Was that person really him? That was all too unbelievable, no. Thank you, old brother. This treasure that the patriarch had kept for hundreds of thousands of years had been given to Long Chen. For Long Chen to call him brother was only right. The complete tea scripture is in the High Firmament Academy. Old brother, you can send a disciple to their main academy in Dark Light Heaven to obtain a copy of it, said Long Chen. The High Firmament Academy as expected of the number one academy of the nine heavens and ten lands. Its reputation is well earned. However, I have no relationship with the High Firmament Academy. They probably won't let me make a copy of it, said the patriarch. Ha ha ha, you don't know. My boss is the dean of the High Firmament Academy's seventh branch. If you go to the High Firmament Academy, you only need to report my boss's name, and no one will stop you from copying it. Gyuo Ran laughed. So Junior Brother is a dean of the High Firmament Academy. I've been rude. The patriarch jumped in shock. In truth, even without my permission, if you went to the High Firmament Academy with a clear and sincere heart, the dean would probably let you study the complete tea scripture. The High Firmament Academy is not like an ordinary sect. Our library is open to the entire world. As long as you come in goodwill, we will not disappoint you, said Long Chen with a smile. So that's the case. Many thanks, Dean Long Chen. Now that Guo Ran had reported Long Chen's status, the patriarch no longer dared to call him brother. He directly called him Dean. You fools, shouldn't you hurry up and apologize to Dean Long Chen? You've offended Dean Long Chen, and you want to act like you didn't do anything. The patriarch suddenly turned to scold his disciples. King Yu and the others scratched their heads. He was clearly the one who had brought them to challenge the wine god palace, but he was scolding them for his actions now. 
However, since he was their patriarch, they didn't quibble. They thickened their faces and cupped their fists to Long Chen. Sorry, Dean Long Chen, the patriarch suddenly kicked their knees, forcing them to kneel. He barked, is the name Dean Long Chen something that the likes of you can just say? He is brothers with your patriarch. You don't even know how to treat others with the proper seniority? What have I taught you? King Yu and the others were forced to kneel, all of them feeling aggrieved to the point of wanting to cry. Long Chen looked even younger than them, but their patriarch actually wanted them to view Long Chen as someone of the same seniority as him. Furthermore, it was to be done in front of everyone. Senior Junior knows his wrong. Our eyes were unable to see empty tie. I hope you won't hold a grudge against this little person. Starting today, we will turn over a new leaf and repent for our sins. We will be new people. King Yu's voice even contained a sobbing tone. This poor child felt wronged, but there was nowhere for him to vent his feelings. Long Chen laughed inside. This patriarch of the Tea Divine School really was a fool. He forced his disciples to carry the burden of his own wrongs instead of assuming them himself. But King Yu and the others could only suffer in silence. Rice. Long Chen waved his hand, and an invisible force lifted King Yu and the others up. Seeing King Yu's bitter expression, Long Chen suddenly felt this dislikable fellow to be quite pitiful. I feel bad to have you suffer so much during our first meeting. You are decent in other areas, but your spiritual strength is lacking a bit. This is a nine revolution soul nourishing pill. You can have it. Long Chen gave King Yu a medicinal pill. King Yu originally thought that Long Chen was just randomly waving him off, but when he received the pill, he saw that it was actually a treasure pill. Many cultivators would never even see a treasure pill in their lifetimes. Is this? Many thanks, Senior. Many thanks, Grand Senior. King Yu was shocked and delighted. This pill was precisely what he needed. He naturally knew his own situation. This pill could make his spiritual strength, which naturally lagged behind his other areas, go through a complete transformation. He then received the pill with both hands and kowtowed to Long Chen. This time, he did it completely willingly. Seeing this, Guo Ran and Xia Chen also felt bad. Guo Ran then gave King Yu an elaborate hand crossbow, while Xia Chen gave him a life-protecting talisman. Hence, King Yu was overwhelmed with favor. As for the other disciples, they were all envious. Many thanks, Dean Long Chen. There is still another matter that I need your help with. And Dean Long Chen help me answer this question? Asked the Patriarch sincerely. Chapter 3687 High Firmament, Jade Void, Limitless O. Oh. Please go ahead, said Long Chen. Previously, Dean Long Chen mentioned this part of the tea scripture from above, achieve the Tao, ascend to the heavenly palace from the center, achieve the Tao, become an immortal in the southern palace from below, achieve the Tao, live forever within the world. This line is denounced by countless cultivators in the current era. To tell the truth, I've asked many famous scholars about this line, and they also scoff at it. It, it's very displeasing, said the patriarch. While he said that it was very displeasing in truth, during those times, he ended up turning hostile with those people. But unable to beat them or outcurse them, he could only swallow this grievance and leave. Later on, he no longer asked for anyone else's teachings and directly set up his tea divine school, turning himself into the founding patriarch and viewing the tea saint as a god. He then swore to bring the tea Tao to glory. Today, he actually heard this line once more from Long Chen, so he couldn't help but ask it. I very much want to know what your understanding of this line is. The distant experts and the wine god palaces experts all looked at Long Chen. The tea saint's Tao was too profound and obscure. 
In fact, it went so far as to be contrary to popular opinion on the Dow. Most people thought it was just crazy words, so they were all curious about what Long Chen would say about it. Long Chen smiled. This line is not accepted by others due to being too wildly arrogant. It's normal for people to not approve of it. From above, achieve the Tao, ascend to the heavenly palace. From the center, achieve the Tao, become an immortal in the southern palace. From below, achieve the Tao, live forever within the world. On the surface, it sounds as if he has the utmost confidence in his tea scripture, as well as utmost arrogance. However, most people have misunderstood the tea saint's meaning. This line is in the final part of the tea scripture. However, it is not referring to the tea scripture. There's no mention that one has to use the tea Tao to pursue the heavenly Tao's. When he said achieve the Tao, he was including all ten thousand Tao's, not just the tea Tao. However, due to not comprehending the tea scripture, many people formed a biased opinion of the tea saint. A single leaf in front of their eyes blocked their vision of the mountain. After achieving the Tao, can one really ascend to the heavenly palace, become an immortal in the southern palace, and lie forever in the world? Asked the patriarch. Do you know the meaning of ascending to the heavenly palace, becoming immortal in the southern palace, and living forever in the world? Asked Long Chen. We. Oui. Actually, I don't really understand it, said the patriarch. He wanted to say that he did but it couldn't possibly be as simple as he thought, so he didn't say he understood in order to not lose face when he was wrong. Long Chen said, when it says ascend to the heavenly palace, the heavenly palace refers to becoming a celestial god, a god in charge of the laws of the nine heavens. You can take it to mean being the master of the entire world. The southern palace refers to the high firmament palace of the era of legends. It is also called the Heavenly Palace. Become an immortal refers to becoming an immortal of the heavens. If the Heavenly Palace is the master, then the immortal of the Southern Palace is the administrator outside of the Heavenly Palace. However, there is also another saying when it comes to the Southern Palace. It is said that within the world of the nine heavens, there is a supreme divine world with five palaces the central high firmament palace, the southern jade void palace, and the northern limitless palace. The jade void palace is the southern palace, the entrance to the heavenly palace, and the life gate. The limitless palace is its opposite, the death gate. Life and death face each other. Thus, to become an immortal in the southern palace can be taken to mean standing outside the jade void palace's gates, to being a single gate away from the high firmament palace. As for achieving the Tao from below and living forever in this world, it should refer to a longevity even greater than an ordinary cultivator. Once one comprehends the essence of the heavenly Tao's, they will possess a heart as calm as water, and their longevity will stretch far into the distance. These are all my personal opinions on this line. As for whether this line really does mean this, perhaps only the tea saint himself knows. Long Chen's words dumbfounded countless experts. The things that Long Chen was talking about were things that these old fellows that had lived for countless years had never even heard of. Dean Long Chen, do the five palaces really exist? Is the High Firmament Academy related to the High Firmament Palace? asked one of those elders in the distance, unable to contain his curiosity. This elder was a half-step divine venerate, whose hair was as white as snow, yet his tone was exceptionally polite. Long Chen smiled bitterly. Who knows if the five palaces really exist? These are merely some introductions that I read in the High Firmament Academy's tones. But this information is basically from legends and myths. There's not much basis for them. However, some stories are closely linked to each other. When taken together, they are worth thinking over. In particular, there is a repeated mention of the five palaces and eight gates. Isn't it interesting to think about such a thing?
Regretfully, the records of these legends are one-sided. We can only see things from a narrow view and not the full picture. Thus, when it comes to the stories of legend, my attitude is that you cannot not believe them, but you also cannot fully believe them. As for whether the High Firmament Academy is related to the legendary High Firmament Palace, to tell the truth, I really don't know. In any case, after flipping through many ancient tomes, I was unable to find any connection between the two. Everyone, if you're interested, you can go to the High Firmament Academy as a guest. Again, as long as you go with goodwill, my High Firmament Academy will not disappoint you. As expected of the youngest dean in the High Firmament Academy's history, this understanding and magnanimity are admirable. This old man is too old to cross the devil, sea, nor can I endure the impact of crossing the wall between heavens. I'll never be able to go to the dark light heaven in this lifetime, but I'll definitely send a good disciple as a representative to pay my respects, said the elder. The dark light heaven had a powerful wall separating it from the violet flame heaven. Because of it, those beneath the immortal king realm could pass through easily, but above the world king realm, passing through that wall came at a terrifying price. One mistake, and he would lose his life. Perhaps if a world king that was extremely weak tried to pass it, it would be easier. But the stronger the world king, the greater the resistance. Half-step divine venerates like themselves would simply be sending themselves to their deaths if they tried to barge through that wall. Thus, they had no hopes of ever personally going to the High Firmament Academy in this lifetime. They could only send their own disciples. Although they knew that the High Firmament Academy was the number one academy of the nine heavens and ten lands, the academy with the most ancient inheritance, as time passed, it had declined. People might not mention it once in a thousand years, so some people had gradually forgotten about it. Now that Long Chen mentioned so many things from the era of legend, people instantly thought of this ancient academy. Its foundation was unimaginable. Furthermore, the High Firmament Academy always welcomed other sects to learn and study together. Countless people started to think about going to take a look. Senior, can you tell me whether or not we should enter the three thousand worlds? Asked King Yu suddenly. Yo, I suggest you not to. I'll put it frankly. You are lacking. Without your patriarchy's protection, you'd have long since been sent on the way to reincarnation. The three thousand worlds will have countless vicious characters, so your chances of surviving inside are exceedingly low. I feel like you should peacefully go study scripture in the dark light heaven, said Long Chen. All right, I'll listen to senior. Patriarch, disciple will leave right now. I will definitely bring back the complete tea scripture for you, promised King Yu. He didn't show the slightest regret at not entering the three thousand worlds. The patriarch once more thanked Long Chen before bringing his disciples away. After sending them off, Long Chen returned to the primal chaos space, whereupon he was shocked at what he saw. What is this? Chapter 3688 Treasure Tree's Clever Use in Just a Short Time The primal chaos space had undergone a huge transformation. Long Chen almost didn't recognize it. The seven treasure-colored glass tree that had been on the edge of the primal chaos space had actually run over to the black soil at the very core of the primal chaos space. Furthermore, the pile of corpses on the black soil was also gone, and the seven treasure-colored glass tree had gone from three feet tall to thirty feet tall. At this moment, the seven treasure-colored glass tree was shining brightly. Its body was translucent like it was made of colored glass, and the rainbow leaves on the crown sprinkled divine light from above. That light then transformed into a milky white halo of light around it. Due to that, the black soil even turned white from its light. The black soil was filled with death energy. 
but the seven treasure colored glass tree forcibly took over this black soil forming the white land the giant black soil space was now split in half half black and half white looking at it from above long chan was shocked to find that it actually formed the symbol of the Taiji diagram the seven treasure colored glass tree was now on opposite ends of the heavenly Tao tree the seven treasure colored glass tree emitted holy light while the heavenly Tao tree contained the black energy of death the two forces opposed each other as if they were competing over who was stronger the seven treasure colored glass tree was clearly much smaller than the heavenly Tao tree however it still managed to forcibly occupy half of the heavenly Tao trees territory taking over its own part of the black soil long chen then stopped in front of the seven treasure colored glass tree suddenly two figures flew out from its crown lei linger and huo linger had transformed into two small dragons big brother long chen we like this tree it's part of our family too exclaimed lei linger i feel like i'm growing as long as i stay beside it but i can't tell how exactly i'm growing however i definitely like it added huo linger excitedly long chen was startled this seven treasure colored glass tree was also called the seven treasure ingenuity tree the tree of wisdom and the bot height tree it was an existence from the primal chaos era a legendary divine tree it was said that an almighty existence had turned it into their companion divine entity placing their spiritual mark on it which allowed them to share the same longevity as the tree however even in the legends there wasn't much information about the seven treasure colored glass tree no one knew how to use it when long chen arrived next to the seven treasure colored glass tree the divine light of the tree fell upon him and his body quivered bathed within this light he felt like he was receiving a mental cleansing a kind of energy was coursing through his body long chen felt every bit of stress leave him this energy wasn't very powerful but it was constant and consistent at the same time a strange ripple seemed to come from the tree and the seven treasure colored glass trees image appeared in his mind suddenly long chen's mind retreated from the primal chaos space but what came with him was the seven treasure colored glass tree boss xia chen and yua ran were beside long chen they were in the midst of studying some runes on a piece of paper when the seven treasure colored glass tree suddenly appeared making them both jump when they recognized it to be the very tree that the patriarch had just given long chen they were even more shocked how did it grow so fast the seven treasure colored glass tree emitted its rainbow light enveloping all three of them Yua ran and xia chen instantly felt their bodies relax a holy energy was cleansing their bodies all of a sudden the runes on Yuo Ran's right arm lit up. At the same time, specks of light appeared within his body. Those were the runes that Xia Chen had placed in his body. I understand. Xia Chen and Yuo Ran both cried out at the same time. When the divine light enveloped them, it was as if their heads were anointed with the cream of enlightenment. They instantly understood countless principles. The runes on the sheet, that they had been studying were the runes for Guo Ran's arm. They had been studying them for a long time without any worthwhile accomplishments. But the two of them had experience in this regard. They were determined and always pushed through these kinds of obstacles slowly over constant study. At this moment, the roadblock in their way instantly became simple, and the areas that they hadn't understood grew clear. In an instant, they decided where to put several runes. Suddenly, the seven treasure colored glass tree vanished, returning to the primal chaos space as if everything had been an illusion. As a result, Yuo Ran and Xia Chen's expressions changed. They hastily began to write as fast as they could, putting down many ideas onto paper. They were afraid that their ideas would also become an illusion. 
However, they quickly realized that this was no illusion. It was real. They looked at Long Chen in disbelief. The moment the seven treasure-colored glass tree appeared, it was as if inspiration simply gushed out of a spring. But now, everything had returned to normal. Boss, did you obtain a treasure this time? Don't be stingy. Bring it out so that we can continue researching the Supreme Bones runes, cried Guo Ran excitedly. That one moment had been equivalent to almost a month of work from them. This fellow instantly got addicted to the sweet taste. Novelun Consigu Jurati Shunya M. Long Chen now understood why the seven treasure colored blast tree was also known as the Tree of Wisdom, a miniature version of the heavenly Daos. The tree was a mirror reflecting the ten thousand Daos and laws. Previously, Long Chen hadn't felt much. He had only felt that its divine light could increase the function of his mind and make him feel very comfortable. With that, he could fully relax and enter a state of empty spirit. But somehow, he had summoned the seven treasure colored glass tree. He still didn't feel anything, but these two had a huge reaction to it. Boss, don't just stare. Summon it again and let us benefit, urged Gua Ran. Oh, it refuses to come out, so what am I supposed to do? demanded Long Chen irritably. At this time, Long Chen found that the seven treasure colored glass tree had his spiritual mark on it. It was just like his weapon. However, no matter how he tried to commune with it, it refused to budge. His soul could enter the primal chaos space, and the seven treasure colored glass tree would continue to nourish him with its light, but he couldn't bring it out. Is it maybe out of energy? Long Chen suddenly had a thought. Seeing that he still had a decent stock of corpses saved, he tossed them in with a thought. After that, he found that when these corpses landed in the black soil, they were all devoured in just a few breaths' time. They transformed into an enormous amount of life energy that flooded the primal chaos space. The seven treasure-colored glass tree began to absorb this life energy and continued growing. Long Chen suddenly looked at the heavenly Tao tree in the black soil. He patted its trunk and sighed. It's been hard on you. You had to do so much, and you even had your territory occupied. The heavenly Tao tree was essentially working to feed the seven treasure-colored glass tree, yet the seven treasure-colored glass tree just barged into its territory. That was unfair to the heavenly Tao tree. However, the heavenly Tao tree simply stood there, silent. It seemed to be a life form with no consciousness and could only act instinctively. Long Chen used up all the corpses he had, and the black soil only took two hours to absorb them all. It seemed that the seven treasure colored glass tree's power had grown. When the seven treasure colored glass tree was summoned by Long Chen once more, Yuo Ran and Xia Chen cried out in excitement. They fervently jotted down their new ideas. Chapter 3689 Violet Flame Heaven Capital When the seven treasure colored glass tree's divine light surrounded Long Chen, his seven colored divine ring automatically appeared. After that, Long Chen tried to search for the connection between his divine ring and the seven treasure colored glass tree's divine radiance. The energy of Long Chen's divine ring felt so close to the seven treasure colored glass tree's fluctuations. When the seven colored divine ring appeared, the tree's energy would automatically flow into it. However, the divine ring's energy could not enter the seven treasure colored glass tree, so the tree's energy transmission was unidirectional. An instance sticks worth of time later, the seven treasure colored glass tree once more vanished, returning to the primal chaos space. Long Chen was not summoning the real seven treasure colored glass tree when he brought it out. This could be considered a clone of it, and so it was temporary. After exhausting all of its energy, it would automatically return to the primal chaos space to rest, and before it gathered enough energy, it could not be summoned again. That was too fast. 
it was only a few breaths time cried kuo ran be happy with what you get we've already figured out thirty-seven runes through our tests we've confirmed that they are all correct furthermore we can't even sense the passing of time during this enlightenment if you keep complaining boss might slap you scolded zaya chen with a laugh zaya chen was clearer on things than guo ran for them to figure out thirty-seven runes like this it was not something possible without half a year of constant work people had to know when to be satisfied however these were all runes for guo ran's supreme arm considering guo ran's impatient nature he wanted to figure them all out in one go. You, Ran, that's about enough for you. Zaya Chen also needs to cultivate. Researching your runes all day makes it so that he has no time for his own cultivation. Lan Chen frowned. In the past few days, Zaya Chen was locked down by Guo Ran to study the Supreme Bone. During this time, Long Chen hadn't even seen Zaya Chen take a break let alone cultivate for himself. Hence, he couldn't help speaking up for Zaya Chen. Kyua Ran was instantly ashamed. Brother, I'm sorry. I'm too selfish. My supreme bone already has so many runes that we figured out. For me, you actually delayed your own cultivation. It was only when Long Chen brought it up that Kyua Ran realized he had gone a bit too far. Ever since he was reunited with Zaya Chen, all their time together was for his sake, while Zaya Chen himself didn't get to even cultivate. Zaya Chen smiled. It's fine. We're brothers. If you're stronger, I'm stronger as well. These things can't be separated. Aha, that's right too. Then, let's continue studying the supreme bone, laughed Guo Ran. Long Chen directly clapped him on the back of his head, and Guo Ran's teeth clacked together. Long Chen then scolded, Zaya Chen is being courteous so that you don't feel guilty, but you really don't view him as an outsider, do you? We're brothers, so why should I feel guilty? If I'm stronger, he's stronger as well, right? Guo Ran held his head and grumbled. Seeing Long Chen raise his hand again, he hastily fled behind Zaya Chen. Long Chen seriously said, Zaya Chen, spend some more time for yourself. Your talisman arts are powerful, to the extent that even against me, you will at least be able to flee safely. But this time, there will be countless heavenly geniuses in the three thousand worlds. There will be monsters, existences that were sealed for countless years just for this moment. Big brother Zaya Guong even said that the opening of the three thousand worlds is the spark that will cause chaos within the nine heavens and ten lands. All kinds of races will come, including the dark world's life forms. There will most likely be a slaughter within the three thousand worlds. Even if you don't have priceless treasures, just being from an enemy race will cause others to hunt you down. Also, I am worried about you encountering someone who can control a domain like last time. If your talismans are restricted, you might not be able to get away. When Guo Ran heard this, he also grew serious. In their battle against Liao Benkang, his faith domain was their greatest nightmare. If it weren't for Long Chen's purgatory eyes at the end opening a path, the three of them would have died Navalun calm in that battle. It was Zaya Chen who was suppressed the heaviest. Hence, if he encountered someone else like Liao Benking, it really would be dangerous for him. Thinking of how he had made Zaya Chen help him study his runes this entire time to improve himself, Guo Ran was instantly ashamed. Zaya Chen nodded. Boss, I understand. Actually, I've been researching how to break the power of a domain while helping Yuo Ran study his supreme bone. I've also thought of a few possibilities based on the runes on Yuo Ran's supreme bone. Helping Yuo Ran really is helping myself. Good. I've asked, and the entrance to the three thousand worlds is the chaotic flow of space. When you enter, 
you will be drawn into different spatial channels. That means no one knows where they'll land within the 3,000 worlds. Since that's the case, the chance of two people being able to land together is very low, so everyone must be prepared to fight for themselves. Guo Ran has his supreme bone and his battle armor. He is capable of fighting alone, and I'm not worried about him. But I'm worried about Xu. In a couple of days, I can summon the seven treasure colored glass tree one more time. Under its light, it can let you enter a state of empty spirit to easily comprehend things. So, you are not to worry about Kuo Ran right now. Do your best to study how to break a domain. Hopefully, you'll be able to come up with a way to break out of a domain with the seven treasure colored glass trees help, said Long Chen. During the next few days, Yuo Ran especially didn't bother Xia Chen. He just started adding runes to his battle armor. Those were the runes that they had figured out and decided upon. Furthermore, with the help of Long Chen's medicinal pills, their cultivation bases had already reached the peak of the Divine Lord realm. They were merely a single step away from the Immortal King realm. As for Long Chen's cultivation base, he was on the verge of breaking through to the twelfth heaven stage of Divine Lord. His crazy consumption of medicinal pills to increase his cultivation base didn't cause any adverse effects. During this time, all of his advancements didn't cause his aura to change at all. All of the energy was absorbed by the violet tower star. Thus, Long Chen didn't feel anything five days later, Long Chen was finally able to summon the seven treasure colored glass tree once more. Xia Chen was also prepared. Being immersed within its light, he started jotting down ideas. Regretfully, the seven treasure colored glass tree only lasted for a few breaths' time before returning to the primal chaos space. Clearly, its energy was not fully recovered from the last time. Because of it, Xia Chen didn't manage to fully finish. However, Long Chen was gratified when Xia Chen said that he already had the overall idea in place. Even without the seven treasure colored glass tree, he would be able to finish his plan. The next day, Long Chen silently advanced to the twelfth heaven stage. At this time, Xia Guhong came over. Let's go. We're going to the violet flame heaven capital. Let us see all the grand heroes beneath the heavens. Chapter 3690, The Human Race's Most Flourishing Era, the Violet Flame Heaven capital, was one of the oldest cities within the Violet Flame Heaven. It was said that this city was actually a pile of ruins, ruins so big that they were imaginable. It was located at the heart of the Violet Flame Heaven. But contrary to the Dark Light Heaven, the violet flame heaven was split into blocks, as there were many areas that could not be crossed. In fact, for some areas, you had no choice but to traverse through a different heaven or go through somewhere like the netherworld or devil world to reach them. Thus, there was no one capable of traversing the entire violet flame heaven. After all, some sealed areas were hiding an unknown number of monsters. Those monsters would normally not appear, but once they did, they would cause huge waves in the world. When Guo Ran's flying boat approached the violet flame heaven capital, all he saw were ruins. A solemn and stirring aura assaulted them. Also, Long Chen's blood began to unconsciously circulate faster, and his hands quivered slightly. Long Chen was startled, not knowing what was going on. There really is battle-hungry blood in your body. The call from millions and millions of years ago is forming a resonance with your blood, said Xia Yuang with a touch of praise. Big brother, are you saying? Long Chen was shocked. Xia Yuang nodded. Yes. This place was the core of the battlefield in the desolate battle. The number of life forms that died in that battle is uncountable, and every inch of this land is dyed with their blood. Because of it, Every wisp of air is infected with endless resentment. 
ancient desolate devils are buried within this place along with the heroes that slew them but then the stars changed and the heavenly dows erased countless marks of that battle as if that battle's only mark would eventually be carved in a history book as time passes people's memories of that time also grow dim perhaps they are unwilling to look back or they simply don't dare to or perhaps they feel like history won't repeat so they choose to forget Zaya Yuhang eyed this ruined world and sighed this one sigh contained many complicated emotions long chen knew that Zaya Yuhang had experienced far more than him he stood at an unfathomable height so the world he saw made him sigh with emotion as for long chen all he felt was overflowing battle intent he could sense fear anger unwillingness reluctance and other emotions in the air they were the leftover wills from the human experts right before their deaths they remained even after the erosion of time for millions and millions of years it wasn't just long chen who could feel them yuo ran and xia chen were also affected by the air here their gazes grew sharp and killing intent welled out of them they had followed long chen for so many years in bloody battles so they were extremely sensitive to this kind of aura at this moment they felt like they could see countless humans in a blood-soaked battle slaughtering devils and monsters because of this they had the desire to go back through the river of time and join the battle as the flying boat slowly got closer they saw an astonishing sight in the distance there was a giant black hole in the void it was like a gaping maw devouring the world the black hole was surrounded by spatial cracks which were constantly reforming and healing it was vaguely possible to see some terrifying spatial blades whirling within and terrifying sounds came from the darkness they were like divine beasts roaring yet also like ghosts wailing the battle of the desolate era was millions and millions of years ago as the world not healed from it asked guo ran his voice quivering as he looked at the black hole with their current cultivation base if they unleashed their full power they could break through the walls of space but whatever damage they did would quickly heal like slashing a blade in the water the surface of the water might be broken for a while but it would eventually return to its original appearance over time however the scars from the desolate era still remained until now just how terrifying was the person who caused this scar the desolate era is said to be the human race's strongest era the human race's experts of that time could shatter the stars and the moon and destroy the foundation of the world we aren't capable of even influencing their remnants Zia Yu Hong looked at the black hole with many emotions. I've never heard of that. Shouldn't the wheel of history continue to move forward? The human race went through millions and millions of years of development, making all sorts of new inventions, standing on the shoulders of those who came before us. The human race is blooming with talent. We should be greater than before, exclaimed Yuo Ran. Ancient humans might be powerful but according to reason through the efforts of countless generations the human race should have surpassed them by now after all the human race wasn't like demonic beasts who only relied on bloodline inheritances the human race had both bloodline inheritances and the inheritance of history because of them the human race's techniques could be passed down through written word with numbers they could build an unprecedented roaring fire as everyone had worked hard to progress the current human race had given rise to countless new paths but Zia Yuong said that the human race had declined compared to back then they found it hard to accept Zia Yuong shook his head in the desolate era the human race could barely survive by hiding between the cracks it was an extremely difficult time for us but then the human race produced an almighty expert who created their own peerless divine cultivation technique leading the human race to the very peak we slew demons devils 
ghosts, and monsters, and for the first time, the human race stood at the pinnacle of the ten thousand races. Long Chen, you often say that humans are the spirit of the ten thousand races, blessed with the special care of the heavenly Taoes. But the truth is, before that person appeared, the human race was not the spirit of anything, nor were they cared for by the heavenly Taoes. The human race was only the slaves of the various races. But that almighty expert forcibly slaughtered our enslavers until their blood rained down from the heavens. Eventually, the nine heavens lowered their heads, and the heavenly Taoes gave us their favor, accepting the human race as supreme. It was only after this moment that the human race truly rose, having the blessing of the heavenly Taoes. We then truly started to comprehend the heavenly Taoes that enabled us to create our own cultivation techniques and abilities. Hua Ran, I know that you have immense talent in forging, but don't get complacent. In that era, the human race was the chosen ones of the heavens. Their minds were blessed with divine light, and the ten thousand Taoes and laws were open to them. Their comprehension was far greater than the current human race. Hearing the way that Zia Yuhong described it, that the ten thousand Taoes and laws were open to them, that their minds were blessed with divine light, Long Chen, Guo Ran, and Zia Chen were shaken. This state, was it not precisely the state of being blessed by the seven treasure colored glass tree? Guo Ran fell silent. Under the light of the seven treasure colored glass tree, his mind was like a gushing spring and endless ideas just came flying out. It was like no problem was too difficult for him. If the people of that era really did have such a constant blessing, then they truly weren't something that the current people could reach. Yuo Ren and Zia Chen had made astonishing gains just from short moments of the seven treasure colored glass tree's blessing. Because of this, they were unable to imagine the wisdom of the people of that era. Big Brother, who was the almighty expert that you mentioned, asked Long Chen. Zia Yuong simply smiled at Long Chen and didn't respond. But that smile already told Long Chen the answer. Long Chen's heart pounded wildly. As expected, that person had to be the Nine Star Master, the man who caused the Nine Heavens to lower their heads. Then wouldn't the nine star hegemon body art be created before the heavenly Taoes recognized the human race? Thinking of this, Long Chen was even more shocked. The nine star master had essentially blazed an entirely unprecedented path, but by changing the nine star hegemon body art's cultivation path, was he not also blazing his own path? Boom! Suddenly, a heaven-shaking explosion erupted in the distance. Violet Doris struck them. People are fighting. Let's take a look. Yuo Ran cried out excitedly and sent the flying boat hurtling over. Chapter 3691 Dreams Vanish Before Monayan. The flying boat quickly got closer. After a while, Long Chen saw two giant figures fighting. One was a humanoid giant a hundred miles tall, while the other was a bizarre life form. This life form was like a fox and a dog. It had two heads, and its claws were as sharp as blades, leaving spatial cracks wherever they swept out. It's an ice fire fox wolf. Long Chen was slightly surprised. This two headed life form was an ancient demonic beast. One of its heads controlled flame energy while the other controlled ice energy. The ice fire fox wolf let out a furious roar. When both of its mouths opened at the same time, ice and flame energies erupted simultaneously. Two rays of divine light then shot at that giant. Boom! A huge explosion shook the land. The ice and flame energies were shot out at the same time, yet they didn't clash with each other. When they struck that giant, the two energies suddenly merged and exploded. The cold of ice and the heat of flames merged, causing the void to splinter. This mixture of hot and cold was something that not even the void could endure. As for the giant, he wore a beast hide and was fighting barehanded. 
at this moment he actually used his bare body to receive this attack which caused his upper body to turn red from the heat and his lower body to be covered in frost he was sent flying after that that giant spread his arms and let out a furious roar blasting away the ice and flames covering his body he seemed completely fine and once more charged at the ice spire fox wolf Gua ran and zaya chen were both shocked by that they had never seen such a terrifying physical body this giant wasn't using any magical arts and simply used his physical body to endure this attack it had to be known that let alone a body of flesh and blood even a divine weapon would probably be shattered by that fusion of ice and fire two enormous bodies then continued to clash their power caused heaven and earth to shake but curiously even this fierce clash was unable to damage the ruined buildings of the violet flame heaven capital according to reason these buildings should be badly eroded by the passing of time and unable to endure a single attack yet they seemed to be protected by some mysterious law that giant belongs to the wild giant race they don't know how to cultivate and rely entirely on their physical bodies to fight however their physical bodies have natural down marks on them that function just like some kind of armor ordinary divine weapons are unable to harm them in fact some magical arts and divine abilities simply have no effect at all said long chen isn't that just like wild ed speaking of which boss have you still not heard anything about wild ed asked Saya chen long chen shook his head wild ed belongs to the barbarian race it is said that the barbarian race was completely exterminated in the desolate battle after the barbarian king kil yuo died the barbarian race's warriors fought to the very last against their enemies they were wiped out i did see someone with the barbarian race's lineage in the high firmament academy but his blood is extremely diluted it was far from being able to be considered as part of the barbarian race i checked where he's from and they can only be considered a branch of a branch within the barbarian race by this time they practically have no relationship with the barbarian race so right now i don't have any idea how to find wilda long chen was most worried about wilda this child didn't have a home so long chen didn't know where that dragon expert had sent him if there was no one to look after him this foolish child would definitely end up suffering hopefully we can run into wilda in this opening of the three thousand worlds prayed zaya chen the opening of the three thousand worlds will cause channels to open throughout the heavens our current location is only one of the violet flame heavens five entrances and the other heavens have their own entrances i trust that we'll run into quite a few old friends inside he he i'm looking forward to it long chen was also full of anticipation for this reunion Zaya Guhong had told him that the opening of the three thousand worlds would cause entrances to appear in most places throughout the three daos six worlds nine heavens and ten lands there were entrances all over however the entrances had to be found before they opened otherwise if they didn't enter in time the entrance would shut before they passed through the entrances always appeared in different places also some entrances could be sealed off by other factors so people had to find a different entrance some people might be so far from these entrances that they wouldn't have time to deter in the end they would simply lose this great opportunity for nothing however most people would be able to enter so long chen was full of anticipation for this opening of the three thousand worlds but the ice fire fox wolf once more attacked sending the giant flying however unexpectedly it turned tail and fled vanishing without a trace afterward what's going on it's going to run before a victor is even decided yuo ran couldn't comprehend this clearly neither side had used their full power yet 
the battle was ending before even coming to a climax the wild giant race is the enemy of most devil beasts and demonic beasts that is because the wild giant race relies on hunting to survive and they often eat the beast races with powerful physical bodies to strengthen themselves because of this the ice fire fox wolf instinctively attacked the wild giant upon meeting but it was just a probing blow if it really had the power to kill him it wouldn't let him off for it to have run off it means that it can't beat the wild giant it might even be in danger of being eaten so it simply fled explained zayed yuhong an instinctive attack what's up with that asked gyo ran some races have inherited a kind of enmity an enmity that is branded in their bones their blood and their soul as soon as they smell the scent of those enemy races they will instinctively attack some of those instincts are so strong that they will immediately start a life and death battle as soon as they meet our human race relies on our memories to remember enmities but those enmities can easily grow dim over time thus the human race has endured so much from bullying suppression and slaughter but unlike other life forms our enmities are not carved into our souls for eternity many races actually look down on our human race due to this viewing the human race as natural slaves after the wound heals we forget the pain said zayed yuhong wang chen bitterly smiled that's difficult to hear but it really is accurate no wonder those races look down on us our human race has far too many miserable wretches in the dark light heaven there was one star field where i saw the human race wagging their tails to the beast race they've already forgotten how the beast race used to slaughter our ancestors those people have practically lost all the face of the human race if i encounter them i'll probably teach them how to be human raged kuo ran if you could teach them anything that would be limitless virtue zaya chen smiled but he knew that it was impossible however just as zaya chen said this he heard someone cry out the limitless palace in front of the limitless mountain the limitless trees before the limitless gate the dreams of heavenly geniuses vanish without a trace as soon as they encounter mo nian chapter three thousand six hundred ninety to the number one flashy man of past and present this fellow also came as soon as long chen heard the phrase he was delighted he hadn't expected mo nian to also be in this region however if he was around here why was it that he hadn't come to see long chen after he had caused such a huge fuss following that loud drumming rang out over ten experts were beating drums together their leader once more shouted the limitless palace in front of the limitless mountain the limitless trees before the limitless gate the dreams of heavenly geniuses vanish without a trace as soon as they encounter mo nian they then beat their drums again Long Chen looked over all of them and didn't see a trace of Mo Nian. Fuck, shut up. Did someone die? What are you shouting for? Someone was unable to endure the ruckus and cursed them. However, no matter how others cursed them, those people continued to sullenly shout the same line over and over again. Fuck, keep doing that and I'll break your heads. One expert finally blocked them with a blade that expert had just stepped forward when the leader of the group had a sword appear in his hand he then struck as quickly as lightning slashing off that person's arm that person was shocked if he hadn't dodged fast enough he would have been cut in two he hadn't expected this group of fools to actually have an expert amongst them fuck your mother you bastard do you think that i want to do this if it weren't for this stupid curse would i embarrass myself here fuck who doesn't like it come out and i'll kill you who dares to come forward shouted that man his voice full of hatred and resentment he reached out and tore the clothes on his chest 
when they saw his body. Even Long Chen gasped. There was a strange hole in his chest. It was around the size of a person's fist, and Black Kai was circulating within it. That Black Kai contained the aura of death. Looking more carefully, that Black Kai seemed to have something hairy wriggling inside of it. But it was unclear. That scene gave others chills. Fuck, after being cursed, I wish I could die. If you have guts, come and kill me. I've long since wanted to die, but I just don't have the courage to kill myself. Come and kill me. If you kill me, the curse will transfer to your bodies. Do you want to test it? That person's voice was heartbreaking. It was almost crazy, terrifying others. That's the corpse devil curse. What a vicious move. A startled cry rang out when someone recognized the origin of that black Kai. They clearly knew just how terrifying this move was. Fuck, I've lost my entire family's face. I have to spend all day repeating this trash. If I don't, the corpse poison will devour my soul, paining me until I long for death. Not only that, but I have to shout it somewhere with many people around. Only once enough people hear it does the pain lessen. Stop looking at me and just kill me. In any case, I don't want to live any more. After saying that, this person began beating the drums with the others once more. The limitless palace in front of the limitless mountain, the limitless trees before the limitless gate, the dreams of heavenly geniuses vanish without a trace as soon as they encounter Monayan. Big brother, that's about enough. Activate the photographic jade reminded one of the drummers at the rear. A photographic jade was activated. After that, people saw a big fatty and a little fatty. When they saw the big fatty, the expressions of the senior experts all changed. The blood kill hall's master, Impuda. Impuda's name was something that terrified countless seniors. He was an extremely sinister assassin willing to use any means necessary to achieve his goals. Thus, he was called the despicable assassin, the human devil in Puda. They all felt great trepidation toward him. Upon seeing his face, their nerves instantly tensed. They didn't know if this was a prelude to in Puda coming to kill people. All they knew was that in Puda's methods were unfathomable. Perhaps some of the monsters that had come here had drawn over his assassins. Thinking of this, Quite a few people felt a cold chill on their backs. As everyone's attention focused on the big fatty, Long Chen, Guo Ran, and Zaya Chen instantly recognized the small fatty. It was Mo Nian. Suddenly, they heard an explosive sound. Mo Nian took out a shovel and solidly slapped in Cuda's face with it. What? The experts were all filled with disbelief. Someone actually slapped in Puda in the face. Most bizarre of all, that little fatty was kneeling on the ground. As for in Puda, he came flying out of the ground only to be smacked in the face by the shovel, which resulted in him smashing a hole in the ground. Just as everyone was bewildered by this scene, that person put away the photographic jade and continued drumming. The limitless palace in front of the limitless mountain the limitless trees before the limitless gate. The dreams of heavenly geniuses vanish without a trace as soon as they encounter Monayan. Hey, little brother, can you activate the photographic jade again? Asked an elder. That person directly said, A hundred thousand immortal king crystals. You can buy it and watch it as many times as you want. A single immortal king crystal can buy a hundred thousand photographic jades. Now, you want a hundred thousand immortal king crystals for one photographic jade. Why don't you just go rob others? Raged the elder. Then you can buy a hundred thousand and go away. Don't get in my way. I have to continue working. The limitless palace in front of the limitless mountain. Fuck, give me one. Despite knowing he was being scammed, the elder paid a hundred thousand immortal king crystals. That person then happily received them. What are you smiling for? 
you deserve the corpse devil curse the elder was extremely displeased after paying however that person seemed to be used to being cursed like this and didn't get angry he directly left after receiving the money continuing to drum into the depths of the violet flame heaven capital watching as this group of people left people suspected that this curse was fake was this a scam to make money however the photographic jade wasn't fake people watched it repeatedly it really was Imputa who was slapped in the face Imputa had even activated his world king divine radiance and his faith halo that could not be fake people surrounded the elder and discussed the photographic jade Hua ran couldn't help sighing when it comes to showing off i'm still a level inferior to mo nine perhaps only boss can suppress him i'm not interested long chen rolled his eyes suddenly a torrent of blood flew in the distance they also heard a sound as if someone was being sliced apart startled long chen and the others just managed to see that group in the distance being slaughtered they then let out a cry of disbelief jai wang chapter three thousand six hundred ninety three in Puda's suspicions long chen xia chen and guo ran were startled when they saw jai wang in the distance they couldn't believe their eyes how come jai wang is still alive no he's not jai wang both of his hands are supreme bones exclaimed guo ran the first to notice something wrong due to also possessing a supreme bone he immediately sensed this oddity jai wang killed those people making the ruckus however no one saw how he did it he simply appeared and those people exploded without a warning everyone was stunned following that horrified cries rang out that was because they saw that big fatty once more the blood kill hall's master in Puda, had actually come furthermore behind in Puda were hundreds of masked experts in black cloaks they were the best of the blood kill hall's assassins now everyone knew why those people suddenly died their actions were clearly a slap in Imputa's face so when he came they had to be exterminated Imputa's arrival caused quite a ruckus countless people stared at this expert whose fame shook the world Imputa's reputation truly preceded him whether it was the junior generation or the senior generation they were both horrified this was an exceedingly dangerous figure although Imputa's cultivation base on the surface only appeared to be in the world king realm everyone knew that his power was enough to crush most divine venerates countless gazes were drawn to Imputa however they only dared to look and not get close to this existence Imputa didn't give off the slightest emotional ripple due to those people's deaths it was as if their actions were unable to antagonize him junior brother long chen how coincidental you've actually come so early Imputa spotted long chen amongst the crowd and smiled that tone was like he was seeing a friend for the first time in many years he then enthusiastically walked over it truly is a coincidence i admire you very much this should be jai wang's twin brother am i right jai wang died and his supreme bone was transferred to your hand if my vision is right one hand controls time and the other controls space how amazing long chen eyed that man ha 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 brother long chen's vision really is sharp you instantly saw through my disciples skill i admire you even more now wu ming shouldn't you come to greet team long chen you should know that your dual supreme bones are thanks to his efforts otherwise who knows how long you would have to wait it would definitely be after this opening of the three thousand worlds and Puda laughed and turned to Jai Wuming. This junior is Jai Wuming. Many thanks for your work, Dean Long Chen. To repay you, I will personally cut off your head. Jai Wuming cupped his fists toward Long Chen with a smile. Guo Ran and Xia Chen's expressions instantly sank. 
On the other hand, Long Chen's expression was still indifferent. They were all enemies, and when they fought, it would be a battle to the death. They naturally didn't need to be polite. Then I wish you luck. Again, I, Long Chen, will welcome any challenge at any time. As long as you're willing to gamble with your life, I will not refuse, said Long Chen lightly. When it came to Jai Wuming, Long Chen had a certain feeling. This person might be young, but he had been polished by Imputa for so long. His scheming ability must be deep and could not be underestimated. Despite his arrogant and careless appearance, Long Chen's intuition told him that it was an intentional act to lower his guard. With Imputa's character, whatever disciple he raised personally would definitely be the same as him. It would have to be a person with great endurance and restraint. However, no matter how he acted, it meant nothing to Long Chen. Again, in front of absolute power, all schemes were worthless. Dean Long Chen, I really admire you. When I was investigating your path, I set up many traps where I expected you to go, but they all ended up empty. I thought that you were setting up fakes, while your real targets were the few ruins of the High Firmament Academy in the Violet Flame Heaven. Who would have thought that your real target would be the Nine Underworld Island? And Puta looked at Long Chen. To tell the truth, my first target in coming to the Violet Flame Heaven was the Nine Underworld Island while my second target was your heavenly river valley. But I underestimated the foundation of divine Connors. Us three brothers almost met with calamity against Lyo Benking. If I didn't make that strange mirror explode, the three of us would definitely have died. We mostly only escaped thanks to luck. But I suppose that only proves that divine Connors are already abandoned by the heavenly Dows. Not even the heavens want to help you. Long Chen smiled. Although his expression didn't change, Long Chen was shaken inside. When Imputa said this, an almost imperceptible sense of danger enveloped Long Chen. He had a bad feeling because it seemed that Imputa had sensed something. Perhaps because Long Chen had destroyed the star peering heavenly mirror, Imputa was suspecting his status. The star-peering heavenly mirror was a divine item that targeted nine star heirs. Although Long Chen's divine ring and star diagram were covered up by the seven supreme yang technique and the starry river of the sky art, while his own aura was no longer like that of the other nine star heirs, there were still many similarities. This time, Long Chen had even destroyed the main problem for nine star heirs, the star-peering heavenly mirror. It was only natural that Imputa would be suspicious. Hence, Long Chen looked into Imputa's eyes when he said this. What Long Chen said was true. There truly were two targets. Other than destroying the star-peering heavenly mirror, his other goal had been to destroy the Bloodkill Hall in the Heavenly River Valley. Other than the Bloodkill Hall's main headquarters, their stronghold in the Heavenly River Valley was the most important one. As long as it was destroyed and his divine faith receptacle was ruined, Imputa would suffer immense injury. However, although Long Chen had given Liao Benkeng a high power estimation, he hadn't expected him to be so terrifying when he possessed so much faith energy. Because of that, Long Chen almost lost his life. He naturally wouldn't go to the Heavenly River Valley after that. Then, that really is a pity. If you had first come to the Heavenly River Valley, it would have been better. After all, I'm not like that idiot Lyo Banking. If you had come to the Heavenly River Valley, you would have never been able to leave, said Imputo with a regretful expression. There's nothing regretful about it. Even if I went to the Heavenly River Valley first, I wouldn't treat it like the Nine Underworld Island. I would definitely prepare some more. Although you are quite wily, I don't think my brain is empty. To tell the truth, I actually hope to be able to beat you in wits one day, said Long Chen very confidently. Long Chen had decided after the Battle of the Martial Heaven Continent's destruction, he would stop relying on his intelligence in handling things. 
if he always wanted to use wits to resolve his problems, it would slow down his cultivation. However, Imputus' schemes had made him suffer more than once, so he was getting competitive. He really wanted to use his own intelligence to tell Imputa that he wasn't smarter. Imputa sighed, a shame, a real shame. If you had come to my heavenly river valley first, perhaps there would still be room to talk. Once I caught you, Lord Brahma would welcome you. Unfortunately, you went to the Nine Underworld Island and destroyed the star-peering heavenly mirror. There's no room for discussion any longer. It's all that idiot Lyo Ben Kang's fault. Other than having a bad temper and shedding all responsibility for his own actions, he has no other ability. That's the only reason this matter got ruined to this extent. Fuck your mother. Imputa. You're a piece of trash who only knows how to talk behind people's backs. If you have guts, let's have a fair fight. A furious roar rang out. Hearing it, Yuo ran and Zaya Chen jumped. That was a voice that they would never forget in this lifetime. Favorite. Chapter 3694 Once more seeing the Nine Underworld, you Acha and Puta, you gossiping damn fatty, why don't you just kill yourself? Lyo Benkeng appeared along with a group of black-robed assassins wearing metal masks. There were thousands of them, which was ten times more than in Puta's group. Lyo Benkang flew over, but upon seeing Long Chen's group of three, flames of rage exploded out of his eyes. His faith lotus then appeared behind him, and he immediately sent a palm toward the three of them. Little brats die. Lyo Benkang unleashed a giant palm image that crashed down toward the three of them. The abundant faith energy seemed to cause the very cosmos to collapse. People couldn't even breathe in front of it. As a result, they were all horrified. They didn't even have a second to react to Lyo Benkeng's arrival before he attacked. Suddenly, a single finger pointed out and a gust of wind flew out from the flying boat behind Long Chen. That heaven-encompassing palm was shattered by the gust from this single finger. What the? Everyone was shocked. Lyo Ben Kang's fame was on the same level as in Pudos. They were amongst this world's most terrifying assassins. But someone destroyed one of their attacks with a single finger. Just who was this person? Lyo Ben Kang's expression changed. Only then did a certain person appear and a ruler Kai radiated from him. When people saw him, they couldn't believe their eyes. The Grand Zaya's monarch, Saya Gyuhang. This name was repeated by quivering voices. Zaya Gyuhong was the symbol of an entire era. He was that era's king. At that time, he reigned supreme. The ancient Grand Zaya's monarch, the heir to the innate primal chaos divine item, the Grand Zaya dragon sparrow. Considering his natural ruler Kai, this could not be anyone else. He was a legendary existence within the nine heavens and ten lands. Although the Grand Zaya had long since vanished, people would never be able to forget the final generation monarch. This outstanding figure that had shaken the entire era ultimately had a sad ending due to love. But no matter what, in that era, he was an unrivaled king that no one could compare to. He soared like a shooting star, lighting up the entire world. After that, he suddenly vanished but that glory already lit up an entire era. Even now, people had not forgotten him. Thus, when he appeared along with his ruler Kai, many people instantly recognized him. Furthermore, the fact that he was able to shatter the attack from the master of the Nine Underworld Hall with the gust of a single finger filled them all with amazement. This was the style of a legendary figure. As expected of the Grand Zaya's monarch, the Grand Zaya Dragon Sparrow's aura has always remained on you and has yet to dissipate. That also means that the Grand Zaya Dragon Sparrow has yet to fall. Perhaps this is a fortune for our human race. Impute about slightly to Zaya Gyuhong. Even Impute, a figure whose name shook the world, bowed to Zaya Gyuhong. He didn't dare to be rude. 
Lyo Benking instantly went from a raging tiger to a quiet cat. In front of Zayed Yuhong's ruler Kai, he felt second rate. Despite being enraged, he didn't dare to attack again. Zayed Yuhong eyed in Puda. The human race's fortune has nothing to do with the grand Zaya dragon sparrow. The harvest that you sow is the harvest that you reap. Today I came with these three brothers of mine to the violet flame heaven capital. I naturally won't interfere in battles against the same realm, but if someone is so shameless as to take advantage of their cultivation base to attack my brothers, then I, Zai Guong, will be forced to move these rusty old bones of mine. Countless people stared at Zai Guong in shock, and some of the senior experts even had worshipful gazes when looking at him. Immediately, Zaya Chen and Guo Ran's hearts swelled with pride. For Zaya Guang to call them brothers made them feel like they had directly ascended to the heavens. That feeling of pride could not be described with words. Guo Ran was so excited that he didn't even know how to express himself. Even if your body has gotten rusty, I'm sure a few skinny monkeys can take advantage of you. They would only be inviting their own humiliation if they attacked you. And Puda smiled slightly. And Puda, go fuck yourself. All that crap in your stomach is what makes you so damn fat. Are you trying to provoke me? Raged Lyo Bankang. This curse caused countless people to look at each other in dismay. This was the master of the Nine Underworld Hall. The existence whose name shook the world. Could an assassin really possess such a temper? Although Lyo Benkang had an explosive temper, he wasn't so foolish as to not realize that Imputa's words were clearly targeting him. He was nothing more than an avatar and wasn't a match for Zaya Guam. If they were to fight, he really would be inviting his own humiliation. Clearly, Imputa had long since known that Zaya Guam was inside the flying boat, but he didn't warn Lyo Benkang letting him lose face. The more Lyo Benking thought about it, the more enraged he was. Suddenly, Lyo Benking's sword came out of his sheath. In front of countless disbelieving gazes, he actually attacked Impuda. However, Impuda seemed to be prepared and easily moved aside, also bringing his people away. It was like he was saying that Lyo Benking was a rabid dog, and he couldn't be bothered by him. Your nine underworld island was already destroyed by Long Chen. Even after mobilizing all of that faith energy, you still let three juniors escape from your grasp. You then have the face to cast your anger on others. You've lost the face of your entire family. If I was you, I wouldn't even need Lord Brahma's denouncement. I'd have directly killed myself. While Imputed didn't attack, his mouth didn't slack off. Last time, they had crossed heavens just to attack Long Chen. That had been a joint operation, and the failure infuriated both of them. Now, the two of them already tore off any pleasantries. After all, Imputa wasn't some saint. If he didn't insult Lyo Benking a bit at this time, how would he make it up to himself? Wu Ming, remember... An assassin must always retain their calm. Don't learn from palace master Lyo, reminded in Puda. In truth, I don't need master's reminder. After all, a marvel like palace master Lyo is unprecedented. Even if disciple wished to learn from him, disciple couldn't possibly obtain this skill. Jai Wuming shook his head. This master and disciple actually played off of each other, cursing without using curse words, leaving Lyo Benkang with no room to retaliate. As a result, he was fuming. Shut your mouth, or I'll eliminate you within the three thousand worlds. The Divine Venerate forbids us from killing each other, so don't force me to break his rules. A woman standing beside Lyo Benkang spoke, and her voice caused everyone to jump. It was a bizarre sound, not at all like a human's. Coming from her mouth, that voice caused people to quiver. Every word seemed to possess the power to reap souls, terrifying people. Who is that? 
Yuo Ran whispered to Long Chen, I am the Nine Underworld Yuacha. Remember my name, because the master of this name will kill all of you. The Nine Underworld Liuacha stared at Long Chen, her gaze containing a sharp and cold light. Her mouth curled into a dangerous arc. Chapter 3695 The Asura Race's Spirit Calling Art The Nine Underworld Liuacha's aura was completely different from before. Her aura was colder, without the slightest emotion. Her eyes in particular were different. There were blood-colored spots inside of them now. When those spots were looking at someone, the person would feel like their soul was about to be torn out of their body. When Long Chen encountered the Nine Underworld Liuacha last time, she was still a human. Now, other than her human form, she was not a human at all. The current her was a humanoid life form filled with a dark and sinister murderous aura. She was like a completely different person. You said the same thing last time, but I still beat you like a dog. If they didn't save you, you'd already be dead, sneered Long Chen. Shut your mouth. At that time, I had yet to awaken the Asura bloodline and wasn't a true member of the Asura race. But now it's different. I've awakened my supreme bone, and my bloodline has completely changed. I am no longer an inferior human. And you, you will die at my hands, sneered the Nine Underworld Liuacha. What a joke. You were originally a human. Even if you've awakened the Asura bloodline, you remain human. You've forgotten yourself, turning yourself into a beast. As expected, considering the person raising you. You're just as foolish as your master. Your master is a far cry from Impuda and you are a far cry from Jai Wuming. Long Chen shook his head disdainfully. Bullshit! Who do you think you are to judge my Asiur race? If he dared to run wild in the three thousand worlds, I would kill him just like you. The nine underworld Liuacha glanced at Jai Wuming with derision. Jai Wuming narrowed his eyes. Her words were extremely displeasing. He was about to speak when Impuda stopped him. When the three thousand worlds open, there will be countless monsters. Supreme geniuses will be everywhere, so that will be the time for everyone to show their divine abilities. Saying vicious words now is only inviting humiliation. Don't get embarrassed when you're beaten up by other heavenly geniuses. In any case, fighting here means nothing and will only cause you to be laughed at by others. The truth will come out in the three thousand worlds. After that, Impuda looked at Long Chen. Brother Long Chen, perhaps this will be our last time speaking with each other. To tell the truth, I really admire you. You are brave and fearless, but also meticulous. Most importantly, you have a solid conviction. Once you decide on your target, you throw everything at it. You don't let any obstacles rattle your determination. I know I have no power to draw you over, so I have always been hoping to give you a direct referral to Divine Venerate Brahma. Perhaps only Divine Venerate Brahma is qualified to talk you around. Regretfully, fate has other plans. You've committed a grave taboo. Even the Divine Venerate will not be able to forgive you. Thus, the next time we meet, I will make sure that you die. There will be no escape then. Everyone calls me the despicable killing god for a reason, and this name isn't for nothing. Everyone was surprised by this speech from Impuda. It seemed to contain a strange sympathy that people were unable to comprehend. Many thanks for the warning. Since fate always has other plans, let's just listen to fate. On the way to the peak of the martial path, everyone has different positions. It's simply impossible to come to a conclusion through reason, so there can only be a conclusion through weapons. To put it frankly, this is a world where the person with the bigger fist is the one deciding who is right. Although I, Long Chen, am young, I have fought countless battles. As for you, you are definitely one of the enemies that causes me the most trouble in this lifetime. 
although i loathe you there are some areas in which i admire you let us not say more words and simply meet on the battlefield in the three thousand worlds i will first kill your disciple later on we can settle our enmities said long chen it went without saying that despite impuda's despicable qualities his sinister schemes were quite brilliant he was a very difficult opponent to deal with even long chen had almost lost his life to him several times right now impuda was his most dangerous opponent you're the only one who is going to die in the three thousand worlds the nine underworld Luacha and jai wuming shouted at the same time the two of them then glared at each other killing intent burst out of these two young apex assassins in truth the two of them were fated enemies one was a peak expert of the blood kill hall and the other was the future hope of the nine underworld island there would definitely be a battle between the two of them but although the two of them could decide who was stronger between them they couldn't decide who could die it didn't matter how much enmity there was between their masters it didn't matter how much enmity there was between themselves they were all disciples that lord brahma had set his sights on so they would not be allowed to kill each other it was precisely due to this that they didn't dare to be too ruthless but using other means to beat each other down and vent was allowed Imputa didn't say anything in response he simply smiled slightly and brought his disciples away seeing Imputa leave lio benking left behind some vicious words before also leaving only the nine underworld luacha eyed long chen seemingly unwilling to let him off but she was dragged away by lio benkang be careful of that fatty his scheming ability is frighteningly deep Ziyak yu hung watched as imputa left big brother don't worry i won't be careless long chen nodded however although that was what he said he felt a bit helpless inside currently his greatest weakness was that he was lacking time if he had ample time couldn't he simply scheme back at impuda when had he ever been afraid of fighting in this regard the main thing was that he didn't have time to be playing schemes and setting up traps his limited time was spent entirely on cultivation there was no time to play schemes as that would definitely slow down his cultivation in the end it wasn't worth it thus the old man's words were true even in the immortal world other than that also be wary of that girl warned zaya guang oh i didn't feel that she was stronger than jai wuming long chen was a bit surprised in terms of power perhaps not but she has awakened the asura bloodline other than being able to summon the liuacha possession you have to be careful of forcing her to use the spirit calling art said zaya guang what's that asked guo ran this was his first time hearing of it Zai Gu hung explained the immortal world's spirit link beasts can be summoned even through the wall of the heavens she might not have the power to use the asura races spirit calling art yet but once she becomes an immortal king and condenses a heavenly dao crown she will have that ability if she doesn't use that technique she probably isn't a match for jai wuming but once she does who knows what kind of existence she will summon from the asura world the asura race's spirit calling art doesn't simply summon contractual beasts she can summon whatever fits the situation moreover the beasts that she summons will be in the same realm as her but their power would not be inferior to hers they might even be stronger that powerful guo ran and zaya chen were amazed to be able to summon a beast even stronger than herself if they joined forces who would be able to fight her chapter three thousand six hundred ninety six business opportunity that's not her most terrifying aspect her character is not at all like that of an assassin as she doesn't have the slightest cool i'm afraid that if you force her she will try to drag you down with her perhaps she will use a life-sacrificing summon 
that kind of summoning can bring forth a monster several times stronger than her when i was young i encountered someone with the asura bloodline he was capable of doing a life sacrificing summon he was far from a match for me but his final summoning almost took my life although this summoning comes at the price of the user's longevity to use and using it will cripple them that woman is just like her master i estimate that if you force her she will be willing to use this technique unless you have no other choice don't back her into a corner if you want to kill her it would be best if you directly killed her before giving her a chance to use that technique warned xia duong solemnly long chen Yu ran and xia chen were shaken even xia duong had almost died to that life sacrificing summon they couldn't believe it is the asura race really so powerful asked kyo ran the asura race lives for killing and every single one of them is a natural born warrior in the asura world there are not just the asura race but also divine beasts that are just as brutal the beasts that they summon are all elites amongst elites but there are huge differences in their power and no one knows what kind of existence they will summon Anyway, I was unlucky against that Asura expert. That person summoned a great desolate species, one that could kill the summoner with a wave of its hand. But he still managed to summon it. Thus, the life sacrificing summon is unreasonably terrifying. If your luck is good, she might not be able to summon anything as strong. But it would be best if you were cautious, implored Zayed Yuhong. As soon as Xia Guhong mentioned luck, Long Chen's expression sank. Guo Ran and Xia Chen looked at him, both knowing that Long Chen's luck was heaven defying. Boss, I think you should keep your distance from that woman. Let the two of us deal with her, said Xia Chen. Based on Long Chen's heaven defying luck, perhaps the nine underworld Yuacha would summon some terrifying, unprecedented monster. Just then, they heard a familiar sound. There was drumming, and then another voice rang out. The limitless palace in front of the limitless mountain, the limitless trees before the limitless gate, the dreams of heavenly geniuses vanish without a trace as soon as they encounter Mo Nian. Long Chen and the others were startled. Hadn't those people already been killed? How did they come back? Were they revived? Looking over, they noticed that it was a completely different group. But even from a distance, they could see the curses on their bodies. This was another group made by Mo Nine. Uh, why are there people from the Nine Underworld Hall with them? Yuo Ran noticed that there were assassins of the Nine Underworld Hall present around that group. Long Chen was speechless. Lio Benkeng really is shameless. When Long Chen said this, Yuo Ran and Xia Chen instantly understood. Liao Benkeng found that these groups were humiliating in Puda, so he actually sent people to protect them just to anger in Puda. In terms of intelligence, he couldn't be in Puda. But now that he had a chance to anger in Puda, he naturally wouldn't let him off. Hence, he ordered these people to shout as loudly as possible to draw as much attention as possible. Lyo Benking has opened my eyes to the world. Xia Yuhong shook his head. Even for an existence that had lived for countless years, it was his first time seeing such an existence. Mo Nian's fame really is going to soar now. I'm jealous. Yu Ran watched as this group beat their drums and shouted for Mo Nian. Just looking at them, you can tell that they aren't good people. Mo Nian is killing two birds with one stone like this. Xia Chen smiled. Don't worry, I trust that we'll definitely see that flashy man in the three thousand worlds. Long Chen also smiled. He wanted to see Mo Nian as well, so he was full of anticipation. Last time, if it hadn't been for Mo Nian, Long Chen would have been caught by Imputa and dragged through space. At that time, Long Chen was worried for Mo Nian. But now that he thought about it, his worries had been for nothing. 
Perhaps Mo Nyan's accomplishments were not at all inferior to his own. Boss, there's someone who set up a big building over there. It looks to be a restaurant. Let's take a look. Yua Ran pointed in the distance. When they looked at where he pointed, there really was a tall building. But curiously, there had been no buildings there before. It somehow appeared in the blink of an eye. Just as they spotted it, they saw people building a whole marketplace on top of the ruins. Long Chen even saw the signboard of the Huayan Trading Company. As expected, businessmen have the sharpest noses. Their first thought is that this is a business opportunity, praised Zia Chen. This place was an entrance to the Three Thousand Worlds. The entrance hadn't even appeared, but a huge number of experts from different places had already gathered. There would be a huge number of people here to do business with. Furthermore, not everyone was fully prepared for this opening of the Three Thousand Worlds. There would be plenty of people rushing over in a hurry, and they would need to buy some life-saving talismans and items. If the demand was high, the Huayam Trading Company could make a huge profit. Boss, we should get a good spa for ourselves while we have the chance. Perhaps we can get some useful things, said Guo Ran somewhat urgently. Zia Chen was the same. The two of them could sell some things in exchange for some useful treasures. Perhaps they might get an unexpected harvest. All right, go. I'll accompany Big Brother, said Long Chen, waving them off. In truth, Long Chen also wanted to take a look, but to leave Zia Yuhong here alone would be far too rude. As soon as Long Chen assented, Zia Chen and Guo Ran ran off, finding a good place to set up a shop. The good spots had been taken by the major merchant companies. Hence, Zia Chen and Guo Ran occupied a place that wasn't particularly conspicuous but also wasn't bad. In a bit, once more people came, this region would definitely be considered a central place. Guo Ran then set up his wares. There were some weapons, concealed killing instruments, and some particular ores and crystals from the All Devil's Star Field. As for Zia Chen, he put all sorts of talismans on display. In order to drum up business, he had a talisman illuminate them with divine light. Even from a great distance, people would be able to clearly see them. They were very flashy. It seems that the two of us can't go too far. For these two to put on such an arrogant show, they might get robbed in a bit. Seeing Zia Chen's method, Zia Yu Hong smiled. Zia Chen had many life-saving talismans here, and they were all very expensive. They would definitely attract a crowd soon. It would be best if someone did try to rob them. Then we could openly rob them back. Long Chen laughed with anticipation. The two of them came to the entrance to the restaurant, and a beautiful attendant immediately came to receive them. This restaurant's master was actually a true divine venerate. Most likely, only a divine venerate would be capable of keeping things orderly here. Long Chen and Zayed Yuha went to the third floor and found a table by the window. From here, they could overlook everything around Guo Ran and Zaya Chen's shops. Long Chen ordered a few dishes. Although they were a hundred times more expensive than in the outside world, Long Chen didn't mind. When the food came, Long Chen took out wine and was in the midst of pouring it for Zai Yuhong when he saw Zai Yuhong's expression become a bit odd. Following his gaze, Long Chen saw a man with a scar on his face. He wore golden robes, a golden crown, and a golden belt navaloon. Come when that man appeared, he also spotted Zai Yuhong, and his gaze instantly became as sharp as a blade filled with hostility. Chapter 3697 Long Kinian What a Tyrannical Blood Kai Long Chen's heart shook. A vast blood kai pressure came from this person like a tsunami, applying such pressure that it was hard for Long Chen to breathe. However, the most shocking thing was that this person was just a divine lord like him. 
He looked very young, but his spiritual fluctuations were a bit odd. When Zia Yuhong saw him, he was surprised. He clearly recognized this person, but Long Chen also saw his distaste for this person. Zia Yuhong, I didn't expect to run into you here. I heard that your woman died. You really are trash. You couldn't even protect your woman, but you still have the face to live in this world. That man glared at Zia Yuhong resentfully. The surrounding people instantly had their attention drawn here. They stared in shock at this person. What kind of person was Zai Guang? How could someone dare to insult him like this? Furthermore, he directly attacked Zai Guang right where it hurt. Was he looking to die? It had to be known that Zai Guang was a divine venerate. This person's blood kai might be powerful, but he was still in the divine lord realm. So, Zai Guang could crush him with a wave of his hand. However, this person seemed fearless. He wasn't afraid of Zia Yuhan at all. That resentful look in his eyes made it seem like the two of them had a certain relationship. The evil dragon mark. Heavens, isn't that the long Kinian that was called the Devil Asura back in the day? I remember he had a nickname, the Evil Dragon Prince. Long Kinian? Didn't he try pursuing Liuo Kingyi, drawing Zia Yuhan's ire? Zai Yuang Ban struck him, and he was injured by the Kai of the Dragon Sparrow. Afterward, he silently vanished. Everyone thought that he died, but he's actually still alive. His cultivation base is spiritual fluctuations. He must have sealed himself after being beaten by Zai Yuhong. He only awoke for this opening of the Three Thousand Worlds. Isn't he rumored to possess supreme blood? and a terrifying evil dragon contractual beast. He never encountered a single person who was a match for him until he encountered Zia Yuhong. As soon as people recognized Long Kenyon, they began to whisper. This was actually a person from the same era as Zia Yuhong. Both of them were Luo Kingying's pursuers, but Long Kenyon's pursuit of her had failed. Afterward, he found trouble for Zia Yuhong only to end up almost being killed by him. He then silently vanished. No one had expected him to appear at such a time. Zia Yuhong didn't say anything in response to Long Kinyan's mocking. He only raised his wine up and drank. Long Kinyan walked over to his table. He then eyed Long Chen for a moment before looking at the wine on the table. He sneered. It seems that you've used this thing to numb yourself all these years. Is it what allowed you to hold on for so many years? Yuo Kinging really was blind. How did she choose a coward like you? If she had chosen me, she definitely wouldn't have died so young. Zia Guang, you really are trash. Long Chen was originally planning on ignoring Long Kinyin, but this bastard was going too far. Long Chen couldn't help frowning. Senior Yuo Kinging lived a clean and honest life. How could she choose someone like you whose mouth is full of crap? It would be best if you shut your mouth and stayed further away. I don't want your crap to get in my bowl. Who do you think you are? Is there room for you to speak here? Long Kinian barked at Long Chen. Seeing how young Long Chen was, he actually thought that Long Chen was Zai Yuhong's disciple. As for himself, he was someone from the same generation as Zai Yuhong. According to seniority, Long Chen truly was not qualified to speak here. Who do you think you are? Do you not see that my big brother can't be bothered to even look at you? Let me tell you, my big brother has the necessary self restraint to do so, because he knows that if he even looked at you, that would be bullying you. But I don't have that self-restraint. If you don't shut your butthole, be wary of getting slapped in the face, retorted Long Chen without the slightest courtesy. Long Chen knew that Zia Yuhong's cultivation base outclassed Long Kinyan by far too much. If he attacked him, it would be viewed as bullying. Other than that, Zia Yuhong had pursued the Wine Dao for so many years. He had long since grown indifferent to such mundane things. 
On the other hand, Long Chen's principles were different. Why should he have to restrain himself? Anyone who irritated him better be prepared to be slapped in the face. Long Kinyan laughed. Ha ha ha, and why should I pow? The sound of his laughter was interrupted by Long Chen's slap. Long Chen's hand viciously struck Long Kinyan's face from a bizarre angle. As a result, an explosive sound rang out, one that shook people's ears. It was like Long Chen's slap was also striking their faces. Long Kinyan shot out of the restaurant like a shooting star. The wind broke the void and ripples spread. He then smashed into some ruins in the distance. Boop! The earth quivered when he landed. Feeling this, people in the distance jumped, not knowing what was going on. This technique is perfect, with nothing to nitpick. The will came before the thoughts, and you move before the will even formed. This is a technique that transcends common sense. Amazing! Long Chen's easy and graceful movements were something that moved even Zaye Yu home. This was an unavoidable attack. Even he wasn't sure how Long Chen did this. Long Chen shrugged, helplessly saying, I just have plenty of experience in this regard. There are simply so many idiots in this world. There's nothing I can do about it. Even he had forgotten when this technique started to show off its power, becoming a 100% guaranteed hit. In any case, within a certain range, it didn't matter what his opponent's level was. Within that range, this slap never missed. However, this was not a killing blow. Even against a weaker opponent, it was unable to kill them. If this technique could kill them, their sense of danger would alert them and allow them to dodge. Although it wasn't a killing blow, the mental damage was immense. That was especially true for those experts who were extremely conceited. This technique was specially made for those people. The more conceited they were, the more effective this move was. Once they lost all their faces, it would be even worse than stabbing them. Ha ha, then, let me raise a toast to this move. Sayeg Yuhan laughed. The current him was like a calm lake. There were very few things that could excite him. But this slap did make his heart feel exceptionally relaxed. Long Chen then laughed and drank along with Sayeg Yuhan. Little bastard, get out here. At this moment, the void exploded and Long Kinyan roared, his voice shaking the sky. The sound of his voice drew countless eyes. I don't dare to fight someone with so much crap in their mouth. These clothes are very precious to me, so I can't get crap on them. Just treat it as me being afraid, all right. Long Chen's lady reply rang out. This person might be very powerful, but Long Chen wasn't afraid of him. The only reason Long Chen avoided it was because he didn't want to fight here. There were so many powerful enemies in the surroundings, and it wouldn't be worth it to expose his trump cards. Long Chen, you've also come. Suddenly, a delighted voice rang out, one that was like bird sung in Long Chen's ears. He was overjoyed and immediately looked toward the source. As expected, he saw Yu King Shuan's figure. Chapter 3698 Vermilion Bird Empire Imperial Princess King Shuen over here. Long Chen waved both of his hands at Yu King Shuen excitedly. Today's Yu King Shuen had her hair in two buns, which weren't all that high and were in the shape of a butterfly. The rest of her hair fell to her waist. Coupled with her white dress that was untouched by the slightest dust, she looked like a heavenly fairy that had fallen into the mortal world. When she spotted Long Chen on the upper floor of the restaurant, her eyes lit up. She enthusiastically waved back to Long Chen, smiling beautifully. Her smile was irreplicable. Long Chen wanted to invite her up, but Yu Qingxuan had hundreds of people behind her, so he hesitated. This restaurant might be tall, but it wasn't that wide. If so many people came up at once, it would be too packed. Furthermore, one floor wouldn't be able to fit them all. It would look a bit awkward. 
the i'll just drink here peacefully speaking of which you have to settle the bill first i don't have any money on me Zayed yu hung read long chen's thoughts and smiled then big brother just drink here comfortably us brothers will drink again later long chen smiled and rushed out after paying he then arrived in front of yu king chuan fairy king chuan's splendor is the same as ever but your beauty has only grown moreover both your demeanor and talents make great strides forward since our last parting it's truly worthy of celebration long chen's heart was full of warmth now that he was seeing yu king shuen again yu king shuen laughed at long chen's words his words were too exaggerated despite knowing that he was just teasing her she couldn't help laughing don't you think that if a dean talks like this others will laugh at you yu king shuen smiled at long chen i'm just telling the truth if someone dares to laugh i'll just slap them of course you don't count yes you don't count midway through long chen realized that yu king shuen was also laughing so he hastily corrected himself that flustered appearance of long chen only made yu king shuen laugh more as for the disciples standing behind her they were all bewildered by the laughing yu king shuen they had never seen her so happy before it had to be known that while yu king shuen was normally warm and gentle she was also dignified and composed although it wasn't to the point of never laughing or smiling there was always a certain dignity when she spoke to others hence her current happy appearance was extremely shocking to them long chen if you have guts come out and fight long kinian stood in the air shouting at long chen he finally knew Long Chen's name and directly challenged him. What's going on? Have you provoked another calamity? Yu Qingxuan looked at the enraged Long Qinyan and then looked at Long Chen curiously. She had only come because she heard Long Chen's voice. She didn't know what had just happened. What do you mean by another calamity? It was this fellow whose mouth was unclean he was rude to big brother zayat yuhong so i just slapped him in the face there is nothing else that i could do exclaimed long chen helplessly senior zayat yuhong is also here last time i didn't know that he was friends with my master so i didn't greet him properly long chen please bring me to see senior zayat yuhong now i have to apologize said yu king shuen hastily when she went to the wine god palace with long chen she met and talked with zaya yuhong but only later did she learn that this expert possessing ruler kai was actually the famous monarch of the grand zaya she was then filled with shock and admiration zaya yuhong and liu king ying's love story was a sad and regretful one however in order to avenge liu king ying zaya yuhong had charged into the devil world and slaughtered a legion of devils gaining countless people's respect after hearing about this feat many women dreamed of having someone who loved them as much as zayag yuhong loved his beloved and yu king shuen wasn't an exception she was shocked when she knew that zayag yuhong was the idol that she respected what apology that's our big brother don't call him senior in the future otherwise the seniority will get messed up laughed long chen yu kingshuan blushed slightly these words were far too direct especially when said in front of so many people she glared at long chen a bit angrily princess who is this person his words are quite careless please pay attention to your status at this moment an elder behind yu kingshuan coldly spoke up long chen was startled princess when did yu kingshuan become a princess long chen then looked at the elder and realized that he was a half-step divine venerate he wore imperial robes and on his belt there was a tablet with a phoenix design on it this person looked to be around forty his face was white and hairless and his voice was sharp and thin his jaw was also a bit raised 
giving off a feeling like he was constantly looking down on others. Long Chen was first confused, but then an expression of disbelief appeared in his eyes. This person was actually a eunuch. This soft and feminine air was something that Long Chen could not be mistaken about. He hadn't thought that there were any eunuchs in the immortal world. Oh, eunuch Y, let me introduce you. This is my friend, Long Chen. He is the youngest dean in all of the High Firmament Academy's history. He also saved my life in the Heavenly Flame world, so I owe him an immense debt. Yu Qingxuan seemed to be a bit restrained when it came to this eunuch Y. She quickly introduced them. Long Chen felt some distaste for his soft and greasy aura. However, in order to give face to Yu Qingxuan, he nodded to Yunuch Y. As for this Yunuch Y, he didn't respond with any courtesy. Instead, he eyed Long Chen up and down before coldly saying, I don't care what status you have. I just wish for you to know that King Xuan is the princess of the Vermilion Bird Empire. She possesses the respected Jilai bloodline, and not just anyone can get close to her. We will not limit the princess's choice in making friends, but I hope that Sir can reserve your actions a bit. The Vermilion Bird Empire's dignity must be protected. His tone was extremely rude, clearly reprimanding Long Chen. Hence, Long Chen's expression immediately grew ugly. He had never managed to swallow such an insult. Did a damn eunuch really dare to be so arrogant in front of him? Looking at his arrogant expression, Long Chen truly had the urge to slap him. He would teach this idiot that boss Long Zhen had a temper. However, he was also worried that Yu Qingxuan would be unhappy with him if he beat this eunuch. When it came to Yu Qingxuan, Long Chen was filled with guilt. He had sworn to repay her for everything, so he didn't want her to be hurt in the slightest. Even so, Long Chen could already feel that he was starting to lose control due to this hairless fellow. Long Chen, I'm sorry. Yuna Chui was sent by my imperial father. I, I can't do anything about him. Endure it for now. Once we enter the Three Thousand Worlds, we won't have to bother with him. Yu Qingxuan hastily messaged Long Chen spiritually when she saw his expression. At such a young age, Long Chen already sat in the position of the High Firmament Academy's dean. He had swept through the heavenly geniuses of various races within the heavenly flame world and even slaughtered the seniors that came to avenge them. Just how domineering was such an existence? Seeing him being chided, Yu Qingxuan was extremely apologetic, but there was nothing that she could do about Yuna Chui. She could only apologize for putting him in this situation. Long Chen, are you mute? Who? Long Qingyan had challenged Long Chen twice, only for Long Chen to treat him like empty space. He was even chatting with Yu Qingxuan and Yuna Chui. Seeing this scene, Long Qingyan was enraged. Suddenly, he shot through the air, a spear appearing in his hand. When a dragon cry rang out, everyone jumped. They saw him piercing his spear at Long Chen. Perfect! Seeing Long Qingyan suddenly attacking, Long Chen had a thought and glanced at the arrogant eunuch Y. He had found his chance. Chapter 3000 699 borrowing someone's spear to injure someone who do you think you are to dare to wave a weapon in front of me watch me catch your weapon barehanded long chen extended his hand toward long kinyan's spear just like that seeing this scene long kinyan was further incensed long chen didn't even take out his weapon clearly looking down on him as a peak expert of his generation that had defeated countless heavenly geniuses, this kind of disdain made his fury explode. Boom! Dragon marks lit up on his spear. In that instant, the dragon cry resounding throughout the world grew in intensity, and an explosive dragon might shot out. Long Chen was startled. This person also possessed dragon blood energy. That was unexpected. An insignificant trick. You dare to bring out such child's play? 
are you not embarrassed take a look at my unbeatable dragon claw a long chen spun taking on a flashy and cool posture as he reached out for the dragon spear only to stumble and cry out my waist i pulled something this stumble of long chen's caused long kinyan's spear to shoot right past him also long kinyan's momentum was so great that he couldn't pull it back and he ended up shooting straight toward the person who was right behind Long Chen, Yunuch Wai. Yunuch Wai was originally just watching coldly, but when a spear suddenly appeared in front of his chest, his expression completely changed. Everything was happening too quickly, too suddenly. Yunuch Wai, watch out! Long Chen cried out while he smiled inside. Yunuch Wai had no time to block. Divine light appeared on his hands, and with a roar, he slammed his hands together over the spearhead. However, all he was able to do was reduce the speed of the spear. It still pierced his chest. After that, a web of spatial cracks appeared behind him. What a bizarre soft energy! Long Chan was startled inside. This Yunuch Y had actually transferred the majority of this attack's power to the space behind him. He himself only endured a very small portion of it, considering that he had had no time nor preparation for him to be able to do so well proved that he was very powerful. Long Chen had actually misjudged. He had underestimated this Yunuch Wai. Although Yunuch Wai stopped the attack, he still coughed up blood. Long Kenyan also took this chance to pull back his spear. He was shocked and enraged to have struck the wrong person. That was far too embarrassing. He was about to speak when Yunichwai pointed at him and cursed, You little bastard, you dare to harm me. Do you know who I am? Long Kinyan was enraged at being cursed, but when he saw the tablet on Yunichwai's waist, his expression twitched. He clearly recognized its origin. Long Kinyan ignored him and turned to Long Chen. You ignorant junior, I'll give face to this eunuch today. Next time we meet, I'll definitely take your head. After saying that, Long Kinyan fled, not giving Long Chen or Eunuch Wai a chance to curse him. Eunuch Wai, you're amazing. That technique of yours is marvelous. I really admire you. Aha, I truly do. Long Chen cupped his fists with a sincere expression. But upon seeing Yuna Chwai's wretched appearance, he couldn't help himself, and a chuckle escaped him. Brat, you did it on purpose. Yuna Chwai was ashen with rage. Yuna Chwai, Long Chen isn't such a person. Are you injured? Yu King Shuan hastily helped Long Chen explain himself. Your servant is fine. Thank you for your care, my princess. Kof Yunuch Wai ended up coughing up more blood before he was even done talking. Although you only suffered a light injury, you should still recuperate. There are not that many people here yet. In a few days, the elites will arrive from various places, and I'll be counting on you to protect me. Yu Kingshuan took out a medicinal pill for him. Many thanks, Your Highness. Your servant will go to recover. Princess, be careful. Yuna Chwai reluctantly received Yu Kingshuan's medicinal pill. Long Kinyan was an existence that had rivaled Zayeg Yuhong, so his attack couldn't possibly be so easy to receive. Because of that, Yuna Chwai's injury was not light. He definitely needed to find a place to recover if he wanted to heal the wound. Don't worry, I will be careful, promised Yu Kingshuan. Other than that, you are the imperial princess. Please take care of the imperial family's dignity. Pay attention to decorum, said Yunuch Wai again. Yes, yes, I understand, said Yu Kingshuan. Yunuch Wai glared at Long Chen once more. He was no fool. How could he not be aware that Long Chen had conned him? But he didn't say anything and simply left. Once Yunuch Wai was gone, Yu Kingshuan and the disciples behind her instantly seemed to relax, as if a heavy burden was lifted from them. It was like they were drowning and finally got a chance to breathe. You're so evil. 
Yu Qingxuan couldn't help rebuking Long Chen when she saw his relieved expression. He's dislikable. To tell the truth, if I wasn't giving you face, I'd have long since slapped him, said Long Chen helplessly. Yu Qingxuan also felt a bit helpless. To tell the truth, I also dislike him. There are so many more rules when he's present. But my imperial father sent him, so I can't drive him away. He he, but you're quite amazing. Now we can relax for a few days. In the end, Yu Qingxuan giggled with a hint of naughtiness. She was also clearly pleased and was happy with the results, if not the means. Seeing that she wasn't blaming him, Long Chen smiled. Speaking of which, why isn't your master accompanying you? My master didn't come. Furthermore, this time I am not representing the Blazing Heaven Divine Sect, but as a representative. A representative of the Vermilion Bird Empire, said Yu Qingxuan a bit awkwardly. Yu Qingxuan actually had two statuses. One was the final disciple of the Blazing Heaven Divine Sects, Master Dongfeng Zichu, a peerless heavenly genius of jewel pill and flame cultivation. This status of hers was what almost everyone in the major star fields was aware of. However, almost no one knew of her other, even more illustrious status. That was the princess of the Vermilion Bird Empire and an heir to the noble Jili bloodline. As a person, Yu Qingxuan was low-key and didn't like showing off. She would rather live a simple life. Moreover, she was afraid that Long Chen would feel pressure due to her status. He hid good. Then, when I go to the Vermilion Bird Empire, I can just mention your name and be completely unbridled. I can do whatever I want, laughed Long Chen. She knew that he was joking. But for him to not react badly to this status of hers, Yu Qingxuan was relieved. She happily said, if you dare to damage the imperial family's reputation, and my imperial father learns of it, he will definitely break your legs. Let me tell you, my father is very fearful. Fearful? He was too afraid. Wasn't that his future father-in-law? No matter how fearful he was, what could he do? Looking at Yu Qingxuan's smile, Long Chen also smiled inside. This place is very lively. Should we go take a stroll? Seeing more and more people coming here, with countless people setting up all kinds of stalls, Yu Qingxuan grew excited. There were people as far as the eye could see. Long Chen naturally didn't refuse, and he brought Yu Qingxuan into the marketplace. As soon as they were inside, Long Chen was suddenly attracted to a certain thing. Chapter 3700 Selling Dirty Goods It was a nine-inch long hairpin with an ancient design, but it didn't look very good. In fact, there was a great deal of rust on it. The head of the hairpin was decorated with a small bird whose tail looked like the ear of wheat falling naturally. However, due to there being too much rust, it was impossible to tell what kind of bird it originally depicted. Brother, are you selling this thing? Long Chen pointed to the hairpin. The vendor was a thin man with a thin mouth and monkey cheeks. Seeing that Long Chen had come with Yu Qingxuan and the others, his sharp gaze brightened. Brother, your vision is good. Let me tell you, this is a peerless treasure. Hey, don't go. Just as he was going to start boasting about his wares, Long Chen turned and started walking away. The seller hastily shot up. Long Chen gave Yu Qingxuan a meaningful glance. Yu Qingxuan immediately understood and continued walking away. This sharp man was disappointed to see that Yu Qingxuan wasn't with Long Chen. But he still pulled Long Chen closer and said, Brother, don't be in such a rush. Even if we don't come to a successful sale, isn't it still good to make friends? You won't lose anything if you just hear my talk about the history of this Phoenix Fang Hue and colored glass hairpin. Even if you don't buy it, you'd still learn something. With this experience, you'll be able to pick up better wares in the future. There are no drawbacks for you at all. Hearing all this, Long Chen was quite amazed. 
it seemed that this fellow hadn't come to participate in the three thousand worlds no he was here to scam people into buying his wares long chen looked around seeing no one looking at them he whispered brother we're of the same profession if you're going to sell dirty goods can you be a bit more professional the feng hewing hairpin is a pair only when the feng and the hewing gone are together is it complete who told you that a single hairpin could be called a feng hewing hairpin well other than that does your family's colored glass also get rusty how are you going to sell dirty goods with only this level of skill for the person providing these wares to entrust them to you i suppose you must have some skill long chen shook his head ah so you're a senior my apologies that person hastily cupped his fists to long chen these so-called dirty goods naturally referred to things that couldn't see the light of day it wasn't referring to things with unclear origins but treasures that were dug out from the ground to put it more bluntly they were things stolen from graves naturally the ones to provide these dirty goods were grave robbers one robbed graves and one sold the goods mon nayan was precisely of such a profession and yet he called himself an archaeological scholar in truth whether it was on the martial heaven continent or in the immortal world this little fellow had sold quite a few of these dirty goods some things had unclear value or perhaps it simply wasn't convenient to take them out so he tossed them to people like this because they couldn't see the light of day these dirty goods were provided to them at dirt cheap prices as for these sellers they often went for crazy gains aiming to sell their wares for sky-high prices as soon as someone showed interest in their wares they would do their best to get as much money out of that person as they could because of that as soon as long chen recognized this person's profession he exposed him to spare him from making up stories although long chen had been wealthy on the martial heaven continent mo nian had been no inferior he also had plenty of wealth thanks to people helping him dispose of his dirty goods he kept what he could use and simply sold what he couldn't as for this hairpin that long chen noticed it was something from a large tomb in the mortal world perhaps people would feel that it was taboo but here in the immortal world where people had comprehended the principles of life and death they didn't care about this as a result these goods that couldn't see the light of day were simply called dirty goods some of these things might have astonishing origins and could be the treasure of some major power if someone was discovered with such a thing they would be hunted to the end of the world some treasures were funerary objects meant to accompany their ancestors in death if those objects were taken out the descendants would know that their ancestors tombs had been robbed and that would be an enmity with no rest until death thus these treasures could only be secretly traded don't be courteous let me tell you this i've long since stopped doing this profession after all although the profit is immense the risk is too high it's not a good long-term plan i only came for the three thousand worlds but seeing so many people my hands are getting itchy again i want to fleece a few rich sheep too but i won't do something like what you are doing you are practically throwing out a net said long chen hearing all this that person's wariness dropped slightly he knew that long chen was truly an insider professional long chen was saying that he was eyeing a few targets setting up plans and traps to draw them in step by step to sell some amazing treasure for a huge price as for this seller he was just casting his net in other words he would have more opportunities at drawing in more people but long chen's targeting of a few targets would have a higher chance of success it was simply that it required more preparation then senior is saying i'm just here to see if your items are suitable to help me out in this regard can you help me out asked long chen many thanks senior 
pick whatever you want. I'll give you the best price. That person was delighted. Long Chen was clearly looking for things that could easily pass off as having some kind of ancient, sacred inheritance. Long Chen nodded. I'll pick a few things that I like. I won't make you lose out, but don't go too far. Long Chen picked out seven things. Amongst them was the hairpin. Senior, your vision really is that's enough. We're all insiders, so you don't need to keep the act. Give me a solid price. Long Chen hastily cut him off. Sorry, it's a professional habit. That person was a bit embarrassed. In truth, even if the buyer picked out a pile of dung, he would still praise them as having good vision. These things? All right, I'll give you the same price that I got for them. A hundred thousand, and I'm basically not making any profit, he offered sincerely. Oh, uh, what a fair price. Then I'll haggle, said Long Chen. You'll still haggle. How much? demanded the seller. Ten thousand. Long Chen stuck up a single finger. Ten thousand? Senior, that's wrong. Even if you kill me, that price is no good. No, at the very least, fifty thousand. Fine, thirty thousand. Forty thousand. Thirty-five thousand. Dill, not bet. Your acting is decent. Thirty-five thousand immortal king crystals. You've profited thirty-two thousand immortal king crystals from me. Long Chen smiled. As soon as he said this, that person's expression changed. But when Long Chen really did hand over thirty-five thousand immortal king crystals, he smiled brightly. Senior, what are you saying? I'm really not making any money. Senior, maybe you should pick out a few more things. I'll give you an even better price. That person smiled. Long Chen put away his goods and was about to leave when he saw a woman walking over from the distance. With a thought, he sent a message to the seller. Brother, my target has come. Work with me, and I'll split the profit with you fifty-fifty. After that, Long Chen picked up a palm-sized bronze coffin. With a painful expression, he cried out, Fifty million! Can't you go a little cheaper? One, the Feng and Hewing refer to the male and female phoenix. Favorite, 